The first time I tried doing a proper fucking like stream schedule thing in the jiggy in ages, I fucking end up 40 minutes fan. late. God damn it, motherfucker! Hello, I'm a good Kongla. Hi, football Kongla. Wow, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, honey. I'm so happy to see you. You were late, mate. I know. I know, I know, I'm sorry guys. I was planning on like, you know, starting stream at 18 sharp or well around there, but I ended up leaving like uni like a lot later than anticipated. And then I also had to fix food for myself. So, uh, but here we are, I'm here now. It's <laughs> punishment. No, ah! not the fucking push ups. I sort of fucking God, oh my God. Uh... Yeah. 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 I've been told now to schedule things so that there's a decent, like, sized break in between uh, uni and uh, stream, which is fair. I don't know why my hubris got the best of me, and I really thought that I'd be able to, like, you know, leave work and then get home and start stream and, like, be ready and stuff like that with all within an hour like that 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 was just pure hubris on my part if i'm gonna be fucking honest with you i'm sorry guys go in there but i mean uh better better late than never i guess <laughs> but yo sha i'm so happy guys i've been really looking forward to today's stream wow <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so happy to finally be able to do more Final Fantasy, MSQ, and also the new Alliance Raid stuffs, but at the moment I'm just doing Gold Saucer stuff because of course, look at me, I'm a fucking gambler. It is 6.5, since when did you stream 6.4? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, well, I haven't, but <laughs> see, I, <laughs> I, I, I haven't gone around there yet, but I'm, I, I figured I'm at like, what, 6.2? right now so i should be able to just like you know do do all of the stuff in one go i hope maybe but i want to at least do the alliance raid stuff because i've been really looking forward to that and like just the concept the prospect of getting to do an alliance raid when it's like fresh out of the pan and no one's got any fucking idea what's happening yes yes you know <laughs> but yeah no i uh still haven't done six point or roll 6.2 in its entirety, nor 6.3 and 6.4. But this, if it has to end up that way, is gonna be a long boy stream, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't end up having to be that way, though. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy. And honestly, I'm, I'm quite proud of myself for having, like, done the proper planning and stuff. I was kind of doing that, like, late at night last night. Being like, oh shit, fuck, streaming schedule, I should post that. And then I was like, I bought this template of a stream schedule that this one graphic designer, artist, person made. Ah, fuck, no! <laughs> made. Uh, that I bought on like Kofi. Good shit. Kofi and like artists and whatnot on Twitter wanting to make like a quick vlog are so good. They're such a good source of like VTuber streaming assets and whatnot. It's amazing. But I was trying to figure out how the fuck to like edit that stuff because it came in a PSD file and I had to like stuff. And I was like, yeah, so proud of you for making a schedule. Thank you. I'm proud of myself too. From here on out, this will be a regular occurrence. Mark my words. She said with all of the hubris in the world, unsure if she will actually be able to fulfill that promise. But, <laughs> uh, X to death, bitch, fuck you. Fuck you, okay? I'm- ah! <laughs> Why do I keep on falling? The fucking- <sighs> But yeah, so here we are. <laughs> I'm also a bit sad because I... You know, like, there's these kinds of, like, apps where you can buy food that's uh, soon gonna expire or go bad or whatever from, like, very- OH MY GOD! From various, uh food places, restaurants, and stores, and whatnot. I went to, like, this hotel that, 
was uh, selling some like you know, sandwiches for real cheap, and I was just like, "Oh, that sounds nice." So I, I went there, and I was supposed to get five sandwiches, but I only got four. This is so sad. I like that plate. That's supposed to be so. <laughs> oh my god! Are you fucking for real? Holy shit! I. <sighs> I don't know what's happening with me, guys. I, I'm just, I'm not up to par. This is, this is not my uh, true form. Okay, I'm just, it's been a hectic hour. Wahoo complete, ah! I want, I want to fucking die. Oh my God, kill me. End my suffering, please. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why can't I fucking jump on the fucking acorn? Piece of shit, motherfucker. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. This time, this time for sure. Yay! There we go! Got him. <laughs> oh my lord. Gaming gamers, you have an interesting thing that came to you a week ago or so? Oh, nani sore? What's that? What's that? Do share. Oosh. But yeah, I have my sandwiches and I was hoping I'd manage to like eat all of my food before starting stream so that y'all wouldn't have to listen to the munching munching ASMR, but yeah, I still have like two, two, two and a half sandwiches left to eat. I, <laughs> my moderator kind of wrote to me when I was in the middle of eating was just like, are you late for stream? And I'm like, yes, I'll start streaming now. I'm so sorry. Oh god, one of my posters <laughs> fell down. The sound scared the living crap out of me. Holy shit. Uh, do you guys ever have that fucking issue of like, if you've had a poster that's been rolled up in storage or whatever, and it still kind of doesn't want to lay flat? When you put it up, it just keeps on wanting to like, roll up again. And it's so annoying because they fucking, they keep on falling off the fucking wall because of that. Stream right meow! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! <laughs> A fun little trivia. Which antagonist lived the longest in Prefixive? I was honestly surprised, but also smacked myself in the face on how obvious it was. Are we talking about, like... OH MY GOD! Yeah, I'll do the push-ups after I'm done with the fucking Leap of Faith. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish the fucking Leap of Faith, though! Oh my god! What's happening? Because <sighs> there's a timer on it, so. But the fixive villain or antagonist that lived the longest. Are we talking about like years lived or like time uh, from introduction in the story of the game until death? The rust is real. The rust is so fucking real, man. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> Prithee, do not perceive me. <laughs> Please. Because, like, if we're talking about, like, amount of time lived from, like, birth until death, I guess it would probably be Emmet Selk? Um... I would say Elidibus, but we know that Elidibus is like the youngest on the convocation, so he probably hadn't lived as long. Not the number. Oh, okay, how far into the story they made it, such as how many expansions and such. Okay, well, I mean, are, okay, I'm, I'm being I'm being annoying with with semantics here. Are we talking about like um, time from introduction to death in the story, or are we talking? Um, Time from start of the fictive story uh, until death in canon. Cause that I mean I'm I'm guessing that you're you know not not being annoying like me and just meaning like how long until they got introduced until I did it finally until uh, death. Don't fall. I won't. I won't. Jump puzzles are my nemesis in MMOs. I have PTSD from Guild Wars 2. Understandable, understandable. But, mm, that's a good question. I guess, like... Emmet Sutton, Elid... Mm. Does Hydaelyn count? No. Tater Tot! There's a little Lollafell named Tater Tot! Oh my god! Ah! Also, someone has the fucking 
shoe? Tater Tot has the shoe bill minion, oh my god! Yes! Yeah, I like how long they made it from being introduced to death. Uh, pfft, god, that's a good fucking question. Uh... Xenos? Actually, yeah. Wouldn't it be Xenos? Cause like... La or well, when did we kill La Habrea? Cause he got introduced in ARR and died in... Hmm. Oh wait, no, Elidibus actually. Cause we, we know about Elidibus's existence all the way from like... Post ARR Heaven's Award, I think? And then he. he, he yeah. Elidibus? Is the answer Elidibus? Please tell me it's Elidibus. I'm guessing Elidibus or Xenos. Unsure. While y'all are marinating on that question, let me just do the fucking push ups as punishment. I swear to god, my fucking posters, they keep on falling. Even though I put like a billion. bothered by the fact that there's like a bit of an echo in this room because the walls are so bare and it's driving me insane. I'm like, ah! isn't the answer. He only lived from Stormblood to Endwalker, which is three expansions, so not that long. You say that, but three expansions feels like a pretty fucking long time. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Wait, could the answer be Zodiark? Elidibussy, Elidibussy, Amogus, High Rat, Confua. No rat? No way. No way. Eh? Sadly, it's not Emmett Selk either, as he made it to post 4.0 from point post 4.0 to the end of 6.0, which isn't that long. More like he made it from post 4.0 to end of 5.0, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, I, mm. What is the answer then? Is it Zodiac? I, I honestly have no fucking idea at this point. Bitch. Ah. <sighs> Also, guys, any Fifixiv players who are caught up with story stuff and want to maybe do like Alliance Raid with me, the new one, feel free to join in, Ubu, because I would love to be able to play with people. Wah. I want to do that and also do more. Fucking. I'm on light waiting for reclears to fill. Reclears? Uh, also, like in the time that I've not been <laughs> streaming that much, Fifixive, I've been leveling up my classes and whatnot. So my scholar and also my summoner are level 19 now. Yay! Weekly savage raids. Ah, naruhodo. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
So I think the classes I have that are level 90 now... Scholar, Sage, Summoner. So it's just mages really, but you know. The Reaper is also pretty close. Gunbreaker. I leveled my White Mage to level 80 as well. I was like, yay. Okay, but yeah. So. MSQ. I figure... Elodibus, he made it from post 2.0 to the back half of 6.0. That's pretty darn long. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You know what? That makes sense. Fair. Fair. Average item level 565. Is it not? Oh my god! What is wrong with my summoner gear? Hello? Help? Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're not playing summoner at least. That's for fucking sure. Okay. Christ on a cracker. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I figure we can probably ignore all of the fucking quests that I still have not completed. Um, we can do this. Ilsabard. Camp Broken Glass. What the fuck have I been doing in the MSQ now again? It's been so long. Even though it's been like maybe a couple of weeks at maximum, but you know, it feels like it's been a long time. Eh. Uh... Estinian is understandably bewildered. We came back to the source from having been in the void, right? And, uh. Zero. <gasps> Zero! Oh shit! Okay, wait. We're here. We're, why are we here with Alpha and I? Hmm. God, fuck. Time. I was thinking about it for a while, and then when I was re-watching a playthrough of FF14, I felt so stupid when Elidibus first showed up and the answer showed up. I mean, I have a It'd be like that. You know, we can't all be winners. Hello, hello, Charlie. Kofla, how you doing? Ew, welcome in. We're just about to start up with some more MSQ. This is like... I'm a bit behind when it comes to MSQ because I haven't really felt too motivated to do much of it and also I've been wanting to do it on stream with all of you guys, of course. But now is the time. The time is now. Let's see. What do people have to say? Alice say, the people here struggle to survive as it is. The last thing they need is for Garlemald to be overrun with void sets. Right! That's why we're here! Shit's fucked! Yeah, that... Mmm. That looks cozy. Don't y'all- don't y'all think that Garlemald just looks like the dream- dream resorts? Vacation mode, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. I expect it's been a while since you spoke with Eulis. He'll be glad to see you. Has he overcome his trauma yet? Probably not. Nothing appears to be out of the ordinary here at the camp. Let us see what we find at this village. Varshan! Oh my gosh, yeah! I had tempered my hopes, but thanks to Alphanod and Alize, we might yet learn something of Ajdaya. Right. Ajdaya. Zero. A village of Void Sense users. Lest you think I have feelings on this, I don't. What others do is not my concern. Zero is so fucking... She just does not give a single fuck about anything. I knew the twins wouldn't disappoint. Of course you did. Yasha! Ikuzo! I'm so excited. Oh, May! What a welcome surprise! Hello! Obviously, the story can't move on without me, so like. And I see you're traveling with a large crew as usual. <laughs> Not to suggest that's an inconvenience for us. We'd be happy to share our supplies with you and your allies, should you require any. Oh, it's take drugs time. Drugies! Apologies if we interrupt, Eulis, but there is a matter we wish to discuss. Hold on. We've just finished our routine briefing, so you come at a good time. Is this about the void scent? I mean... <laughs> Hold on, I'm good, just gonna mute myself while I take my droogies BRB.
Yoshi, Tadaima. Let's see. Is this about the Void Sense? Yes, indeed it is. From what we can discern, they're coming from the mountains to the east. They're coming? Da -da -da -da. Practitioners of the Reaper Arts once lived in that area, did they not? Oh, yeah, right. Stuff, stuff. Zero woke up after having been sucked dry of ether after the battle with the... With the... Wind? Wind Void Sense? Stuffs? We came back here. She's been eating food stuff. And then Garlemald's fucked, as usual. That's basically the general gist of the story up until now, I think. Hold on. I'm fucking dying. Yeah, and then the lead alchemist gave Zero a jump scare. Yeah, right! That was the most important moment of the MSQ thus far, obviously. We all know that. <laughs> yes, they had a village there in the Lapis Manalis Caverns. The scythe wielders forged packs with void scent and took to battle with the beings at their side. For a time, they played an invaluable role in our military, but the advent of Magitek saw them fall out of favor. How? is it that the Garleans could use... Because, like, they don't have any ether, right? Or they can't manipulate ether Gar Garleans? I guess they were still able to use kind of, like, these powers thanks to their packs with Void Sense or something? I don't really remember how it worked. I just... If I recall correctly, the whole meme with Reaper is that, like, they're literally just farmers that picked up sickles and went, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see, and when some were masked as insurrectionists, the order was outlawed. The village is believed to be long abandoned. Is, it, is, is this spoilers? Is this spoilers? Yes! Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Very much so, but also, hi, Zuz, Kofa, how you doing? Thank you so much for the resub. Ah, I appreciate the support. But yes, this is big spoilers. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, boy. Okay, no, if you want to stay, I, I suppose I would appreciate that, Uru, maybe, but you should probably, like, deafen and stuff like that, uh, just in case of spoilers. Or if you don't care, then feel free to stick around. Either, 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 either is fine with me. Baka. <laughs> <laughs> they can't channel it themselves, the demons do it for them. Oh, you're dying your hair now? No spoilers, what color, though? Oh... Pink? Green? No, I don't know, actually. That'll be interesting. I look forward to seeing the results. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, still not over how fucking fine adult Rashan is, sir! <coughs> Speaking of their art, it seems you've picked it up. Who was it that taught you? Oh, shit! They have the- Oh, hey! They have a thingy that, like, ah, that's cute! You told me to pay attention to the story? True, true, I suppose. Well, I suppose it's neither here nor there now. Mm-hmm, I'll go lurk for a bit. Okay, thank you for lurking. My sister has been taken captive by Void Sense. I sensed her presence in this land, and I've come and searched for her. If Void Sense have been sighted here, then I believe there's a connection. We should like to investigate these caverns you mentioned, but Alphanod tells us they are not easily reached. Oh, dungeon time? <clears throat> I'm afraid so. Deep snow and tumultuous winds rule out walking and flying. If you want to get anywhere, you're going to need the Magitek Snowcraft. Alas, the last remaining functional ones, one we had has broken down. Should still be over in the Cerulea Ingens, where it was abandoned. So we fix it, and then we go. Is there anyone who can fix it? Perhaps the former engineers at Tapper's Den. Their duty included transporting ceruleum tanks to Jeterna Platform G using snow tanks. Uh, using snowcraft. I expect they had to maintain a few over the years. <coughs> you should do the same but for beard, dying beard, have- Question actually, beard havers in chat, have y'all ever like dyed your beard? any funky color or like done anything special with the design of the beard or like the the hairstyle so to say but for the beard the beard beard style 
<laughs> is that what you call it? Is there even a word or a term for it? I actually have no idea. As a non-beard haver, please enlighten me, beard bearded people. <clears throat> Not yet, kinda want to. Mm -hmm. Never will not make it into strange colors. Why not? Ugh. That's worth looking into, I'd say. In the course of delivering provisions, I've come to know the people there quite well. If they can help us, I'm sure they will. You had blue hair, though, when you had hair. <laughs> Bald. <laughs> May I ask you to accompany her? Given the presence of void scent, it's best that we avoid traveling alone. Could just dye it black. Hmm, I guess. In the meantime, will you not tell me more about the mountain? I would like to learn as much as I can before commencing our search in earnest. Come with me. I'll introduce you to someone who's well versed in the local geography. Alice, was it? I wish to speak with you. Ovo? Ovo? In that case, why don't you come with us to Tapper's Den? We can chat on the way. <clears throat> Honestly, I see... I, I try to avoid discussions on it since I'm still in the middle of it and I don't really want my judgments to be clouded or anything like that, but... I see a lot of people shitting on the, like, 6.x patch MSQ and stuff like that, saying that it's underwhelming and doesn't really meet the expectations and stuff like that. But I don't really know what to think personally at this point in time. I saw someone mentioning that, like, they were kind of expecting <clears throat> stuff with, like, new faces joining the group, but really it's just been zero and stuff like that, and that I can kind of understand. And I, I just don't really know, honestly, because like... Ever there? Ever there? No clue if I'm gonna be honest. It's a whole thing. It's a very interesting discussion, at least. I understand where people are coming from, but... Uh, I just... I feel like this is something I talk about all the fucking time, but you know me. I'm- it's- it's the autism- it's the tism. <laughs> I just wonder how Dawn Trail is gonna turn out, I guess. Can't help but muse over that occasionally, just being like, who? What's gonna happen? Laugh. Oh well. <clears throat> if you want to eavesdrop, be my guest. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> the fuck does Zero want to do with... Alizé? Autism gang, yay, baby! What was it you wished to talk about? Oh shit, voice cutscene. I can eat! <laughs> Why do you help these people? Why? What is it that you stand to gain? Oh yeah, because Zero doesn't really understand the I'm whole sorry? thing of just altruism. Halo says, like, you don't mate, who the fuck is this? Power, nor are you bound by a contract. In spite of this, you help them. Why? <laughs> and there I thought it was something serious. <laughs> I help them because I want to. Because it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But what do you stand to gain? You didn't answer the question. What you stand to gain, I guess, is a sense Didn't of self-satisfaction. I? I followed my heart. What I got out of it came after. <clears throat> Was there anything else? If not, let's keep moving. ADD, ADHD will also right. need to hyper-focus on stuff. Don't need to be on the autistic spectrum. Well, I mean, yeah. Mm. To act not out of obligation or in pursuit of gain. To simply Wait, two people focus? <laughs> live. Unfortunately, occasionally. And they survive like this. Oh, zero. Man's like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? That 
facial expression, man. She's just so bewildered and confused. Kind of exasperated. Huh. It's tying up loose ends at least, and that's good, but compared to Shadowbringers, it feels a bit undercooked, so to speak. Kind of like, let's wrap things up and then focus on Dog Trail. But I've enjoyed it, because when it's good, it's good. Yeah, yeah. That is true. I still really enjoy it. Simply, if anything, because like I've really come to enjoy the characters and stuff. That's how they get you, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. It's been nice thus far. I wonder how it's gonna end up. It's like 6.5. That's kind of like where things get tied up, I guess. Zero does get quite a bit of flack, though there have been worse characters in the past. That's true, that's true. Although, like, some people don't seem to like Zero, but I see a lot of fan art of her nonetheless, so I'm like, what's what's the truth, huh? What's the truth, people? Tell me, hmm? <laughs> oh yeah, Zero does look very edgelordy. If you know anything about her, though, it makes total sense why she'd be edgelordy as fuck, but yeah, I, yeah. The fact that she's also got a fucking fedora just doesn't- it does not help the matter in the slightest! <laughs> like, I'm sorry, ma'am, but like, please, why did- hats? Hmm. <laughs> we should get back to it, but before we do... Are you alright, Zero? Did I say something that confused or upset you? I'll say, save your thoughts for after 6.5- Okay, okay, okay! Looks like how Lin Lin would dress. <laughs> True! No, I'm simply trying to understand your perspective. If you wish to continue, I'm ready and able. Well, that's a relief. This isn't the sort of place you want to mull over things. It's not much farther to Tapper's Den. I doubt we'll have much trouble finding an engineer when we arrive, so let's speak with the first one we spot. She does look like an edgy Bloodborne hunter, and we love her for that. We stand an edgy queen. Also, actually, guys, look. You know the, you know the, like, uh, Twitter, uh, mount handouts thingamajiggy? I got another one, apparently. I was so surprised when I logged in and got, and saw this in the mail. I was like, but I already got the chocolate What the? Hello? Hello? I got another one. So I'm very happy. It's a fucking fat chocobo! It's so chunky! It's a chocobo! I love it. It's so fucking stupid. Also, the fact that, like, you have- you have the cabbage when you're just walking and then when flying you bring out the fucking cake. It's so fucking fat! I love it! Ah! Look at his little chubby fucking legs like- Oh my god! Chunky! Oh lord he coming! Oh lord he coming! <laughs> yeah, that's a rooster. I mean... <laughs> but okay, let's see. Wait, I know you. You're the one who roughed up the guards. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> After you left, your contingent friends came along. Our lives are a lot easier now, thanks to them. Speaking of Chinken, seen the KFC collab on the JP store. Yes! I've seen it! I'm so j I wish I had that! I wish we could get that here. Oh my god. It's always JP or US that get all of the fun stuff, man. But good for them. Good for them. Also, the fact that Colonel Sanders is canon. Is- is Kentucky also canon in a- in Eorzea or like, hmm? Hmm? Aha! Uh -huh. But also... KFC. Kentucky Fried Chocobo. We all agree on this, right? EU is the forgotten land of the internet, truly. It's so fucking sad, but so true at the same time. Which is so weird! Cause like, hello? They understood our plight and offered to help whether we wanted to stay here or return home. For that, we're truly grateful. We're grateful to you too, Alizé. The trip across the lake is hardly ple pleasant, but you make it all the same to bring us provisions. It's Kugane fried chicken! <gasps> that makes so much sense, yeah. Okay, actually, yeah. And also, since like the KFC event is like Japan only, it also makes even more sense. Kugane fried chocobo. K oh my god. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome, welcome in. Oh, don't mention it. We're just glad we can help. That said, we were actually hoping to ask a favor of you today. K fried chunker. <laughs> we need a Magitek Snowcraft repaired. The one abandoned in Cerulea Engines. We were told you might be up for the task. Ah, so you want to ride the mammoth. What? 
Korean fried chicken? That's what we took to calling the crafts on account of their size. Ah, okay. As often as I get, as often as I use them on rigs, I know a thing or two about their maintenance. I'll see if I can get your mammoth roaring again. That's the least I can do to repay your kindness. Wonderful. Please come with us back to Camp Broken Glass and we'll take it from there. So far, so good, mate. Let's be on our way. Ken fried chicken. I'm just Ken. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. I fucking. I still haven't seen the Barbie movie, guys. I really want to. Really, 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 really so fucking badly, honestly. He says forgetting that there is a company on internet safety stationed in EU that made Discord pay millions for failing certain requirements. Really? I have not heard about that. When did that happen? Recently? Also, on the topic of, like, the EU forcing uh, bitches to do shit, did y'all hear about- well, obviously, like, who hasn't heard about it, but the whole thing of, like, Apple getting bullied by Europe into submission and finally acquiescing and going with USB-C. We love to see it! We love to see it, baby! Woo! Welcome back. Barbie movie is highly political, but really good. Is it? Is it political? Hmm. Okay. The rest of the world doesn't like internet safety and personal privacy. Hmm, I sure wonder why. Uh -huh. <laughs> I presume this is the engineer who will help us with the craft? E. I'll do everything I can to get her up and running again. All art is inherently political. Okay, that's fair, actually. That's a fair take. I, yeah, I can respect that. Also, hi, Cloudy! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they forced Apple Apple to stop using that stupid program they used to force people into buying new phones all the time. Excited to see you stream! Yay! I'm excited to be streaming! Apple is innovative with USB-C. <laughs> Fucking clowns. Been a while since I saw one? Yeah, I mean, it's also been a while since I've been really streaming uh, regularly. <laughs> I've been so fucking busy and I've just not really been advertising the fucking, like, fact that I am streaming, I guess. I'm trying to work on it. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing our best at least. <laughs> 2023 has been a very strange year, that is very correct, honestly. Like, it's been such a fever dream of a year and I can't believe that it's almost over soon. It's October, it's spoopy month. What the fuck? Like, 2023 feels like it passed by in a flash. Somehow it's already October. Soon it's gonna be 2024. What is happening? Huh? Please, make time stop. 2023 is not real. True, true, real and true. Changed my mind. I mean, I, I completely agree with you, fam. Apple that pushes out updates that slows down the older models to force people to buy new ones. Yes! That! Honestly, that's just so fucking like, bro, what the fuck? Do they do that with their other, like, hardware as well, or is it mainly just, like, the iPhones? Curious. Can confirm September was, like, a week and a bit- Yeah, I know, right? It was so weird! It just passed by, like, boom! Fuck! Okay, let's see. But I doubt I'll be able to do so quickly, at least on my own. The mammoth is big, and so are its parts. Some strong backs should make the work go faster. You have hours. Yeah, I mean, that's what Asinian's there for. He's just pure muscle. <laughs> All brawn, no brain. We'd love our himbo idiots. You finished learning about the mountain, I take it? Dude, time stopped when the pandemic came. Not sure what happened after that. True, real and true. Aye, we have a solid grasp of that area, as well as the sites of the snowcraft. You stole a... Ah! My back is perhaps not as strong as some, but I should be glad to stand guard for void, for void sets and other unruly wildlife. Much obliged, miss. Then let's all head over to, ma to the mammoth and assess what needs fixing. Yush. They have matters here well in hand, which means we can resume our duties. Would you care to assist us, mate? Eee. I want to spend some time with my beloved children. Hmm. We just need someone to build an Alexander and then we can do some time stopping. I'm mean. <laughs> How about you, Zero? Oh, 
Ugh, the way she always tips her fucking hat. I will assist you as well, as payment for answering my question. <laughs> Alice is like, Mitch, what the fuck? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Seriously, Warrior White, who the fuck is this? <laughs> it's hardly something that demands payment, but I'd be glad for your contribution nonetheless. Nod has been added to the unending codex and Alec. Okay, what the fuck? Where can you see the unending codex now again? Uh... Where is it? I have no idea. Alpha Nod is in need of a helping hand. My thanks again for agreeing to help. The Ilsebard contingent brings in shipments of food, medicine, and other necessities by airship. We have yet to deliver a share of supplies to Tertium, and I would appreciate it if one of you could assist us with the task today. I'll do it. Well, May, it looks like you're here with me, then. Void sun sightings have been increasing by the day, which is why I had a mind to go out and patrol the Elblen Rhyme. Shall we? Yes. If Zero wants to keep talking about payments and debt, she needs to see Tataru. Oh my god, yes! Holy shit. Tataru would have a field trip with her. Mm, actually, don't let Tataru find Zero. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> I love Tataru so much. <laughs> Baby. Alize! Void since he. Void scents were spotted here not long ago. Considering the proximity to Camp Broken Glass, everyone is understandably concerned. But hopefully not for much longer. You follow this road eastward and I'll have a look at the moon. And I'll have a look to the north. My fucking tongue is not cooperating. If you should encounter any Void scents, I won't begrudge you for dispatching them without me. So it's go and kill bitches. Nice. Yosh, any... Void scents around that need a killing. I'd rather appreciate it if that will be boss wasn't there. Looking around. You send some void scent presents. Nats. I roll a nat 20. Also, guys, have I mentioned this to you guys? I'm gonna start playing in a D&D &D campaign. Uh, it's gonna be one hell of an experience, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's, uh, it's, it's, I haven't really... It's finally, I've succumbed. Shut up! <laughs> I didn't know that, no. Yeah, no, it's like... Um, you know the One Piece live action kind of came out recently, a couple of weeks ago, and when watching that with some of my friends, we were kind of we kind of got in on the topic of like, is there a fucking One Piece inspired D and D thing, Majiggy like homebrew? There has to be, right? Like, ain't no way that there isn't, and there was. Some crazy ass motherfuckers have made like, of course there's, of course there's. Yeah. Some crazy ass motherfuckers have made like, like this entire ass fucking tome of like One Piece D and D like players handbook and like D and handbook stuff, and uh, my friends were just like, "Hey, uh, May, could you send that link to me uh, just for reference?" <laughs> so things kind of snowballed from there. <laughs> and originally, it was literally just gonna be like me and. Uh, my friend Julian, bald, for any of you guys who know, if you know, you know, and uh, another friend, and then it just kind of, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden we were a party of like, what, six people? It's a lot, and I frankly don't really know if like the DM is gonna be able to handle all of the people, but like, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see, I suppose. Seeing people base D and D runs off of Pokemon and Fire Emblem, bro. You can literally do a D D and D run of almost anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Six is a number. Yeah, it certainly fucking is, man. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You, Jusen. 
you run, I'm guessing? 5e for a group of five players, so like it sh should work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but it'll be a lot. Run, yeah, yeah, yeah. Elsie! My beloved, my child, my daughter. <laughs> I can spell, I promise. It's okay, All I can't All finished, are we? Good. I love just being with the scions. Good voice. <laughs> the cold doesn't let up out here, does oh. it? They've the means to keep everyone warm at Camp Broken Glass and Tertium. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, but the, still thought, only the cold temporary. never bothered me anyway. <laughs> Subsisting on charity. I had to. Dreading the day, the sympathy of others is exhausted. It's no way to live. They need lasting safety and security. Yeah. Real and true. Who? The that things will baby. never be as they once were. If we can restore a modicum of normalcy to their lives, maybe that will be enough for them to move forward. Mm -hmm. If I'm we're sorry, to I'm achieve that, <laughs> we have to work harder. I have to work harder. Don't you dare, I've already dealt with that song way too much. Let it go, let it go. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're doing your best. Anyone can see that. Yay. You're doing great, honey. I believe oh. in you. <laughs> Lest you misunderstand, I wasn't fishing for a compliment. As I said, I'm doing this because I want to. <laughs> Why does she look so disgusted? I'm just trying to praise you, honey! <laughs> Still, I appreciate your support. She's just like, oh no, acknowledgements from the Warrior of Lights! Oh god, ah, no! <laughs> well, our work here is done. Fucking we should be heading back. Yeah. She truly is! Oh my god. I hope Alpha oh, No and Zero haven't is. gotten into any trouble. <laughs> I cannot imagine how awful it must have been to serve as Xenos' avatar. To not only suffer him, but so much else. Senpai noticed her. <laughs> Insert screenshot of Alistair looking disgusted. She's a fighter, when senpai all right. notices you. Like you and me. Meanwhile, a tertium. I never like it whenever they do a fucking meanwhile. Bitch. Oh, okay. Actually, this is probably gonna be sweet. Hey, is that meal? <laughs> Thank you, miss. Thank you. Uvu. I gave you some bread. That will be 50 units of ether. <laughs> this feels... strangely familiar. <laughs> what, human connection? It's been 84 years. Oh, this part? Ayo? Uh -huh. Excuse me, Alphano. My wife, she's come down with a high fever. Hope you've eaten already. You you huh? What do you mean? Of course. Give me a moment. What does that mean? Now Zero, you're making me scared. What the fuck? I have two sandwiches left. Find right them. in front of my sandwiches. <gasps> I spy with my little eye. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Thank you again for your help. Alice is such a good uh, character. Zero, was yeah. it? I take it you're one of Alphano's comrades? Uh, you could say that. Comrade? We've entered into a cooperative pact, if that's what God, you God, she's so fucking autistic, this bitch. Pact? Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> what I mean is, you must know each other well. <laughs> Be on good terms, enjoy each other's company, that sort of thing. Zero, honey. 
Then no, he's not my comrade. I have none. No girl, will I, ever, I think. Please help. Oh. Oh, <laughs> poor Eulis. Oh my God. Did I say something odd? Yeah. The thing is. No, not at all. Zero On is the contrary, just. It makes sense. In a sense, alien. She, she, when she's Alphino just the not first of this arrived, world. We rejected them out of hand. Actually, in a very literal sense. Whatever they may have claimed, she's got issues to you. <laughs> Savages with their savage ways. You to accept their help was to admit defeat. But no matter how poorly we treated them, they didn't turn their backs on us. They stayed and listened. That's just the kind of people Racism they are. bad. We must embrace they everyone along with and like their differences. Tries to push others away. Be kind to each other in times of need. Get along. I'm upholding my part of the bargain. There's nothing more to it than that. If you say so. If you say so. Yeah. <laughs> Yolos is just like man. Ah, oh, I'd nearly forgotten why even. I came. Are you hungry? We all get rations, and considering the work you're doing, you're as good as one of us. <gasps> They're gonna feed her! I am running low on ether. Very well. <laughs> I'm hungry. No, I'm running low on ether. Yes. <laughs> no, it's a meal! No, not the meal! Oh, that looks good, though. Azim step style dumplings. Azim step style dump. Oh, give me that. Zero gets to have more food, lol. Yay. Never had a dumpling. Yo, the texture of that bread, though. It's like the kind of bread stuffed with a filling. Meat or vegetables, usually, that you bake or steam. Oh, God. I want to eat that. It's huge, though. We have our own recipes. That's in like dead ass the size of our fucking head. My Hello? Likes to make them. My brother and sister always fought over the gem filled ones. The uh, meal is just me referencing Shadowbringers trauma. <laughs> just think of it as bread, alright? Oh, and it's steaming too. Oh, huge dumpling. Huge! God, give me that. Oh! Please. Why did they animate the fucking breaking of the dumpling so fucking lovingly? Like the, 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 the little though, squish and the like breaking. Oh my god! Too much for the children to handle though. Bro, eat! Give me that! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? They animated that so nice and lovingly and just like the, the tenderness of the... <laughs> what the fuck? Interesting. It's important. The bread is important. Can we have an eat dumpling emote, please? God, I need it. Interesting good or interesting... <laughs> You're just trying to deal with this fucking... I don't know much about taste, not anymore, but I do feel a sensation in my mouth. Mm, yes, I do feel a sensation in Is my that mouth. A bad thing? <laughs> oh, baby, you make me feel sensations in my mouth. <laughs> That's enough for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've heard it said that spices are more akin to fire than flavors. Perhaps that makes them easier to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they are. Yeah. Getting acquainted with Zero. What next? Is she oh, gonna yeah. share a burger with Groha? Bro, I'd pay money to see that animated nearly as lovingly as the fucking meat bun. Bro. Um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I suppose I am. <laughs> no harm in that. Acquaint away. <laughs> Ah, everyone is here. Excellent. Zero, my beloved. Thank you all for your hard work. Square Enix really took one look at this hard-ass, edgy-ass bitch with a fucking fedora. 
and went, How are we gonna make the fan base like this character? I know, I'll feed her! Hey, it works. Uh oh. Trouble is brewing. You can tell who is Square Enix's favorite based on if they're being fed on screen or not. Case in point, we're all hot to yell. <laughs> Aight, what's happening? Is that a fucking car? Oh my god, there's two people with cars! Why aren't there people with cars? Is there a hunt happening? Actually, hold on, let me check for loop. Is there a hunt happening? Forgive me the intrusion, but I come with grave news. Oh no. Let's see. Now there is not a hunt train happening. No? Okay. There's just people. People exist? What the fuck? Fucked up. Just me, or does Genshin look a bit different? I mean... Have I accidentally said it to Genshin? No, I haven't. Okay, thank fuck. A horde of void scents are approaching from the mountains to the east. Their numbers are beyond anything we've ever seen. Aw, oh, fuck. Here we go again. What time's it? Dungeon time. It's our vacation. What time's it? Party time. School's up. Scream, shout. What? But Ishtola and the others? Anyone outside of Tertium is in danger. We must find them, bring them all here at once. Can we count on your age, Zero? I've already settled the depth for my question. I'm not obligated to help. Come on! We fed you a fucking dumpling! Lady! I'm about to explode from trying to not spoil this. God gives his hardest batter battles to his weakest soldiers, but please, God, hang in there. <laughs> What's more, death in this world is absolute. You ask me to put my life on the line. Without suitable payments, I will do no such thing. That's fair. What do we have to offer that might be enough? Dumpling! Dumplings? You're right, Zero. You're not obligated to help, and I wouldn't presume otherwise. I mean... You know what's fair? She she has no obligation in any of this. If we're thinking about it from an objective perspective, so uh fair. Nevertheless, we are in need. Assuming the booze I gave you is <laughs> the boo <laughs> booze. Do you pronounce it booze or boo? I actually have no idea. I gave you is worth anything, would you at least be willing to stand watch at this encampment? That way more of us will be able to go out and see the people to safety. I actually had potato flour dumplings many years ago. Ooh, nice. Very well. Unless we come under attack, I'll do no more than stand watch. I dare say Tertium will be safe enough with Zero here. Fair warning, only eat one or two, because potato flour is dense. Yeah. We mainly use potato flour for, like, thickening, like, slurries and stuff like that. It's used when making jam, for example. Here, sweet. I don't know. Or at least that's what I use to make that kind of stuff. And that's what my mom does, too. Ew. Let us go and find Ishtola and the others, and assist with the evacuation. Yes! Determined, put that! We use it where Americans might choose corn flour. Ah, ba da ba da Okay, let's go, Judy time! <laughs> Tertium will be fine. Yulis and his people have weathered far worse. We must make haste for to the Snowcraft, where our friends and the engineer should be. Given their position, they may soon find themselves at the mercy of the Void Scent. If it comes to it, we must be prepared for battle. I'm ready. Don't you worry. How about you, May? Upon departing, upon departing from Tarship, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It's recommended that you set aside sufficient time to be the season. Fuck! Uh oh. 
Oh, oh, oh no! Ah! Okay. Ah! Great. This will be fun. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm scared. Oh, the kids changed clothes. Wait, when did that happen? <laughs> Hello? Oh, God. Concern. I'm scared. Oh, no. <laughs> What's gonna happen? <sighs> Report. Lost contact. When? Oh no. Void sent. I bet my life on it. Understood. I'll investigate at once. <laughs> A unit transporting supplies has gone silent en route to broken glass. I will go and search for it. Stay here and keep watch. But be ready to answer my call. Oh no. Oh. If it was Void Sent, you'd be a fool to go alone. Mm. Mm hmm. They'll find you before you find your men, and then they'll devour you as well. <laughs> oh. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps I don't stand a chance, but I can't just abandon them. Hi, Julian, Colton. That dude with the hat looks straight out of Bloodborne. Bro, the amount of, like, if I had a penny for every time someone I says that Zero looks like she's straight out of Bloodborne, I'd have two oh, pennies. God. Which isn't a lot, but it's funny as fuck that it's happened twice in this one stream. What? No, I couldn't possibly ask you to do that. Shit is I'm happening. I'm far better suited to dealing with Void Scent. It makes sense. Didn't you say you, they were just gonna stand or watch here? Or do you mean to say you'd rather I stay here because you can't protect this place on your own? Damn, okay. Ah. Mm. Must pull a bee. Fine. Just don't do anything stupid. Promise me. Uh, Alexa define stupid. <laughs> Guru, define stupid. <laughs> uh oh. Stupid me, bitch. <laughs> Damn these demons. Oh no. Oh my god. Let's go, Zero! Return Stupid. Average party finder now. experience. Real. Real and true. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Kindred. Why do you interfere? Oh, boy. Why do you interfere? Because they ah, fed me. <laughs> of course. You sold your soul to feed. I mean, not completely incorrect, I guess. I'm not here for chit chat. Die. I have taken bread, but my soul is forever mine. <laughs> Out of context, that's such a fucking stupid line. <laughs> I have taken bread, <laughs> but my soul is forever mine. Okay, Reaper moments. Let's go. Eh. A Jump. deal is a deal. I cannot let you pass. You've seen so many people's reactions to getting to play a zero, and some I had to turn the sound down. Really? More of them. I mean, it was pretty obvious that this would happen. But it is fun. 
I'm a bit unsure though, cause like when in um when in the 13, she turned their souls or whatever into crystal and stuff, right? But oh gosh. Oh no, I've been petrified. <laughs> Am I even gonna live? Am I gonna survive this? There's so many of them! Jesus! Um. Concern. <laughs> I'm in danger. Focus, oh, this man burns his life. Ripe for the harvest. Focus? Oh god! I'm fucking dead! Um. Uh. Am I supposed to stand in that? No? Confused. Um. You have to stand them, them. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Well, uh, we goofed. We done goofed. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah, I'm so dead. How am I not dead yet? Fuck. Mm. Uh. Sir. Not good. Yeah, not good. No shit. This is not good, Zero. Please. Now you're mine. Who the fuck is this asshole even? He's not one of the dudes, right? He's not one of Golbus's bitches, I think. Where is he? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Fuck. I Shit. can't. Fuck. No! Eh? <laughs> Oopsie. Or no, wait. Was this supposed to happen? Oh. I thought I gun. I I thought I fucked up. Oh god, there's so many how of them! The gate be for their light to come through. Yeah, how big is that fucking gate, bro? What the fuck? Is this it then? Who opened the fucking gate? I know Exarch said open the gates, but no, close them! Close the gates! Close the fucking gates! Zero! No! Don't just lie down and give up! Just come on! Time. Bitch! Oh, flashback? When light <gasps> still shone upon the world. When the Contra Memoria still raged. Background! Lore? Story? Oh my god! Or? Zero, I'm sorry, Stand but you look so much better without life. the stupid fucking fedora. <laughs> I love you, honey, but We're like, please. We're only women and wine. Darkness can take the rest. <laughs> Memoriates. Oh, she's so fine. Oh, she was a paladin? Towards that village. Okay. Pop stupid off. Girl. You were warned. Okay. 
Oh shit! The crystals! Oh, do they use the crystals to like harness the power of the darkness or something? Ayo? Huh? Fuck it. Look at these edgelords! Oh my god, these patch quests are literally just edgelord town. Or like abuse it. Um, yeah. What was that sound? <laughs> oh, it's interesting how like the choice of music for this cutscene oh. as well. Like, there's no badassery to it. It's there's there's literally just like a somber, mellow, melodramatic tone to it. Interesting. And now we can get back to our business. Back to business, boys. Murder! Oh. She's alive! Yushtola and Estinian had matters well in hand, so we went where we were needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, actually. Like, as if Yushtola and Estinian, Estinian wouldn't be able to deal with stand? a couple of white sets. TBH. I think if you thought about it for like two seconds. You're not finished yet, Zero. Let's fight together! We're a little late, but we'll come to help you. You're not finished yet, Zero! It's not your time to lie down like a fucking dying puppy! Not yet! Not until I say so, motherfucker! Stand up, bitch! <laughs> Milady. Alright. Let's go! <laughs> I love her, Yoram. She's such a fucking cringe, cringe, fail, oh, fail, burn. cringe, fail wife. In my breast. Let it burn oh, and shit. rage breast. and She's guide.
I'll only get in the way. Too much speed, Zero. Chin up! We'll get through this together! I also love the, the portraits, or like the little speech bubbles and stuff. They're so pretty. Love the artwork. <laughs> oh, okay. Split up! I learned my lesson this time. Stay sharp!
get some good rest now. Alright, good night. You. What does he? You did well to find me out here. Ah, okay, it was voiced. I couldn't hear it. <laughs> we have Eulus to thank for that. He was quite worried when he called. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly timed, was it? <laughs> no. If it was not for you and the others, I... Well, let's not fuss over details. We should return to Tertium. Can you make it that far? I think so. Was a perfectly timed overlap? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'll have to look at that later. <laughs> I just have an innate sense. TM. <laughs> Zero, are you all right? He was worried for homegirl. That's cute. Well enough. No void sense struck here, did they? No, and there weren't any more casualties thanks to you. You were. Oh. oh shit! Drained of ether. What are you doing? I'm helping you, have you no debts bitch. To repay, <laughs> if that's what you're worried about. If anything, I owe you a week's worth of boots. Okay, booze. Okay, that is how they pronounce it. Yulis, do you have a crush? <laughs> you. I doubt it though. I think he's just kind of exasperated over how silly she is. And worried. Um. Zero's convalescing aboard the train. Yulis has already given her something to eat, so I suppose all we can do is wait. I can't help but wonder though. What possessed her to go and find all of those void sins on her own? Zero finally smiles. <laughs> About time, wow. Not that I know the going rates for such things, <laughs> but I doubt. <laughs> but I doubt one booze would su would suffice. I think someone has been a bad influence on her. I wonder who. Hmm? Oh, I'm just joking. Or am I? <laughs> In any case, many people owe her their lives. I'll be sure to thank her when she's back on her feet. I love how she's just... Oh, I'm just kidding. Not much. <laughs> king of the mountain. I'm the king of the mountain! <laughs> As Alice said, many people owe zero their lives. This is not her world, nor her battle to fight, yet she risked life and limb for us nonetheless. That will not be soon forgotten. Now then, I expect that our friends will return soon. Once everyone is gathered, we can take stock of the situation. Zero is cute, in an endearing, like, little sister sort of way. You're watching your younger sibling growing up and learning the ways of the world, and you're just kind of Looking at her, observing, being like, look at this little creature. <laughs> They've no fucking idea how society works. <laughs> Apologies for the delay. I've finished replenishing my ether. Full glad am I to hear it. We must thank you again, Zero. Indeed, many are still alive because of you. Those soldiers, not least of all. Tips for Dora. How fared you? Better than I did, by all accounts. We had to contend with our fair share of void sense en route to the Snowcraft, but we had the benefit of numbers. E. 
queens. With their help, we quickly dispatched all the void scent that came our way. Thankfully, they stayed dead in our world. True. We were trying to decide what to do next when we received word about the transport. Which is how Alice, May, and I came to find you. While the immediate threat has been addressed, we cannot rest easy yet. For void scent to appear in such numbers, we must assume that a void gate has indeed been opened nearby. Yeah, yeah, man, but that. Meaning more of them can come through at their leisure. It seems the best course of action is to investigate Lapis Manalis, as you intend. What is the state of the Snowcraft? This, this world is not her own, and yet she helps. That's saying a lot for someone who helped the first. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's it's a difference in expectations and what's expected of us, you know? We're the warrior of light, and like everyone just kind of in innately expects us to do that shit. Zero is just some random NPC, you know? Like, it, there's a big difference there, I feel. Random NPC, I say, but you know. <laughs> Nearly operational, I believe. Vitro is with the engineer who is hard at work as we speak. Why don't we join them in Cerulea Ingans? Finally, a chance to go on the offensive. Alice is like, finally, I can beat shit up again. I would join you as well. <gasps> oh, shit. I wouldn't dream of refusing you, but what did you have in mind for payment? Payments won't be necessary. <gasps> She's learning about altruism. Oh, my God. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> I will do this because I want to. <gasps> oh my god! Character development! Growth! <laughs> you have kindled something within me. A compulsion. A desire to act. That has been burning since you came to my aid out in the snow. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh... I do not understand it. But I wish to. And to that end, I will heed it. Then perhaps I'll understand your answer. <gasps> Special moment, truly. This feels so... This feels forbidden somehow. <laughs> I would also like to join you in tracing the Void Sun to their origin, though that would mean neglecting my duties here. Don't worry about us. Between my people and the contingent, we can keep things running well enough. Just find where the Void Sense are coming from. See what and see that they stop. <laughs> stop it. Get some help. Feels cute. I know, right? I know. <laughs> She's cute in like a weird way. It's like you're watching like a little animal, you know? I don't know. She's endearing in, in some strange way. Take care, Zero. I love this edgy looking motherfucker. engineer asking for no reason what is a reasonable time to head to bed um before 12 i guess like 23 23 30 depends on when you're aiming to wake up as well there's people the fuck are people doing here but a good rule of thumb that joel taught me and that i've been <laughs> semi trying to kind of follow is that like take the time that you want to wake up and then go eight seven to eight hours before that and that's when you should be going to bed and i was like wow that makes so much sense i'll have to write that down <laughs> write that down write that down <laughs> She just needed friends. <laughs> but then I have to stay up for three more hours. Uh. Do you want to go to bed? You can! No one's stopping you! I wonder, can I go to the top of this thing? I thought that there would be a vista here, but there's not. Alas. <gasps> Wait, there is! Oh my god. A. Feels wrong to head to bed this early. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. 
vista. A bunch of players here at first. I was like, wow, there, there's a lot of people standing around here for some reason. I said this a few streams ago, when you get your sleep doesn't matter, what matters is getting them and taking care of yourself, and I learned that the hard way. Hey. You'd think that I'd have learned that at this point, but uh, uh. <laughs> I'm a failure as an adult. There you are. Your timing couldn't be better. Thanks to Varshan's help, I've managed to finish the repairs faster than I anticipated. The mammoth's ready for the snow once more. Oh shit, let's go! When the music kicks in, oh! You can leave the piloting to me, too. It'd be my pleasure to get you to where you need to go. You're too kind, thank you. Let's be on our way then, shall we? Yes! Eat this all! Still suffer some of the issues as well, but at least I'm trying. Mm. That's all that you can ask. Let's go! I like this music. It's fun. It really fucking pops off. Oh wait, is there gonna be like a dungeon or something? That's happening. Oh! Let's go! Lapis Manal. Should I do this with trusts, or should I try to do it with people? That is the question. I don't even know if there's anyone online right now. There's a lot of people online. Wow. Now the fun begins. Let's go! Uh, could just do it with trusts, I guess. Who would I even... Let's see. Varshan is an all-rounder. Mm. Any reason to get to hang out with some of your favorite characters? True. Real and true. Okay. Who... who bring? I mean, Zero... I guess... Let's Alice. give it our all! I do love Alice. Oh wait, I wanna hear all of the fucking... Victory will be ours! Let's give it our all! Right then. If you insist. Together then. I can't press Alpha Nod. I can't press Alpha Nod. Let's give it our all. This is so sad. Alexa played Despacito. Oh well. This looks good. I can go with this. Oh wait. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. I will do my best. Gambari Mas. Like. Like. Lapis Manalis. Pretty mountains. Oh, okay. up there. You're not like to see much through the snow. <sighs> Would be kind of fun if we just went through the entirety of the like dungeon thing in the jiggy on this platform. This will hurt. Having people to play with when doing like duties, dungeons, and stuff like that. But it, it is quite nice to be able to do it with NPCs too, since nothing else we have to worry about at times. I have you now! Oh, 
pros and cons. Will hurt. Geez, Alice, are you already hanging out with Zero too much? Well. Burb. Yay. You see that? You see that, guys? I am eating. Somewhat. <laughs> Are you proud of me? Please tell me that you're proud of me. I will cry. <laughs> Closer. Uh oh. Okay. 
Oh, 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 okay. Holy shit. Okay. That's far I was not prepared for that. I was like, the fuck do you mean a rumbling can be heard in the distance? What does that mean? You underestimate me. That's far enough. This is why you don't play in the streets, mate. <laughs> I am a goddess, take you! No, but play the sheets, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I <guess. laughs> Rumbling in the distance. Got you. Where is it coming from? How will it, how would you even know where it's? How are you supposed to know? More rumbling can be heard in the distance, motherfucker. Where? Where? How are you supposed to know? There's like no visual because. indication. Is it just me? Is it me? You see the snow and dust pod before they appear? Darkness, you look into you. the sides. Oh, really? Okay, okay. I was like, is there has to be some sort of visual indication. But, like, eh? know by the way if you do a dungeon with trusts do you get like the same drops as if you were to play with people because it feels like if you do it with trusts you only really get like materia and stuff but i could be wrong is it just me or is the wind blowing warm air Maybe it's warm from where the void gates is for some reason. Or volcanic activity. Maybe. Hurt. 
I remember back in the good old days when my friends still played Final Fantasy XIV and were cheating with Guild Wars 2. I could do these story dungeons with people instead of with that <laughs> ah, I'm not sad about it in the slightest, I swear! <laughs> no mercy! Fine. I'm not sad in the slightest about the fact that I'm pretty much the only one of my friends who still actively plays as a 14. <laughs> that is the bad part about being in like a small FC and stuff like that. It's like there's only ever me <laughs> right now. Everyone else is taking a break, which I mean is good and healthy, but. You know, it's sad that FF14 has fallen off so much. Has it fallen off though? Or is it just that, you know, people are kind of taking a break? I mean, that is kind of like actively encouraged a lot of the time with web there's Like in, in between like bigger updates and with patch content and stuff like that, I think. I don't know, I since I never right really played when it was in its heyday. Uh, I mean, I did play during Endwalker, like when that released, I guess, but my memory is skewed of that time. Especially since I wasn't caught up either. Hell, I'm not even caught up now. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess... It would probably make sense if peak activity was during like the Shadowbringers patch quests. It does happen with games, but not for FF14. Normally there's stuff to do, but the player counts as lower than normal. Really? What is this? Training warning notice. Aspirants are reminded not to approach the figures of the Pale Harvest without express permission. They should be treated with no less reverence than Galatea herself and are hardly less dangerous. Only those who have successfully forged a pact with an avatar will spoil with the Galatea Parva. They will serve to refine one's use of invocations and tactical coordination. The Galatea Magna, however, is reserved for those who are able to serve as opposed to their avatar. This periculous ma mannequin is designed to push a reaper to their limits, if not beyond them. Learn to walk in death's shadow. Oh no, God, that's so edgy. Jesus. Emperor Solus is convinced this Magitek will spark a revolution in warfare as we know it. <laughs> and as he devotes further resources to its advancement, our arts continue to fall out of favor. I fear the age of the Reaper has come to an end. After all, our forebears have sacrificed for the good of the Empire, the blood spilled, the lives lost. They would dare deem us relics of a bygone era. Indeed, they believe the future lies with their Reaper battle armor. Hi! It always makes me happy whenever I see like, oh hey, it's a Reaper symbol. Whenever, uh, whenever <laughs> Solus <laughs> or Evan Selk is mentioned, I'm like, it's him. It's him. It's the boy. <laughs> Depressed grandpa. Not a single day goes by where I don't actively think about Shadowbringers, if I'm gonna be, be quite honest with you. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, because I've just like, had this thought seeing like, you know, people on Twitter uh, talking about it and like fan art and whatnot, but Shadowbringers is truly just grandpa I on grandpa know. violence, the expansion. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. You underestimate me! You underestimate me! Heavensward and Shadowbringers both have some of the best storytelling in the game. Yay. It's sad because like I don't feel like I remember much of Heavensward. Like it has not stuck with me nearly to the same degree as Shadowbringers has. I really need to replay it. Also kind of really want to replay Shadowbringers if I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I have issues. Actually, what does it say? Dullmaster's Memorandum. Maintenance of the Galatea 
must be handled with the utmost of care. The delicate art of their making has long since been lost, making repairs difficult and reproduction all but impossible. The knowledge was kept secret, passed down to those who would inherit the precision of Master Dollmaker. That is, until one man chose to break with tradition. He claimed to be leaving on a journey in pursuit of an unparalleled beauty, but we never learned the truth of it. The only thing that is certain is the art of our forebears left with it. Is this a reference to some character or something? I feel like it is, because it feels awfully specific, but I have no idea. Reality and Magna. Commencing basic training regimen. Crack, your time to completion will be recorded. And equipped for combat training. How delightful. <laughs> Leave no openings, you must be quick and decisive. I am of the first group! Oh? Am I supposed to stand here? I have you now! Another of Galatea's puppets, when this effect expires, body will be possessed and unleashed and kept defying the time of all the records. Ah, okay. Ah. Stormblood's a tricky one. Kind of a mixed bag of both forgettable and memorable stuff. Yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag. And also the fact that it's sandwiched in between oh, the two greatest expansions this does not make it much easier for it. I mean, it's not bad by any means, I'd say. But yeah. It's as we say in Swedish, the intellect watch. Hit him with that reverse Uno card. <laughs> I am of the first group. The only bad bit of 14 is 1.0, the rest is all a mix. Yeah. And I mean, one could argue that that mix is. You never are. Yeah. Well, other than that, it's good. Regimen complete and equal to Drusilla. Extraordinary. Drusilla? Isn't that the wind bitch that we fought? Oh! 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 Was that supposed to happen? I think so. What the fuck? Ha! Huh. Deep spine? Mm -hmm. 
Deep Spine kind of sounds like the name of a fucking Hollow Knight area. <laughs> That younger brother from an, from Heaven's Word, if I can't remember how to spell his name, the stuff he does man, he's so annoying. What, Emanelaine? No mercy! What do you mean? Emanelaine is great! He's done nothing wrong ever. He is perfect and without flaws. Truly. I'm so happy that they bring him back. That he's an endwalker too now. <laughs> No, yeah, I mean, Emanelaine is a bit of a clown, but uh, can we blame him? He's a pubescent dude trying to prove his worth. Although he uh, did fuck up a bit a good couple of times, I, uh, yeah, like, I'll admit. <laughs> Aren't we all? I'm never done. lesson from Thanker, that's for sure. Good four foot launched lesson. Yeah! Oh god, that was such a fucking good moment. When he fucking slaps Thanker and Thanker's just like, PUNCH! <laughs> god, I need to replay Heaven's Word. Oh my god. Sometimes I watch like random cutscenes from the expansions. Me. You know, I did that with Heaven's Word to try to like Fresh my memory on what the fuck happens in that expansion now again, but it's really not the same. It's not the same as like out of my way. You know? Hmm. Guys, would y'all would y'all jump into the very suspiciously blue pool of liquid that's most likely water, but you can never be too sure. Either that's going to be like the most delicious water you've ever had, or it's going to be extremely toxic. Kool-Aid, slurp, slurp, no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh god, am I accidentally killing myself? Oops. We fine, we're fine. I'm Gucci. See? issue with doing trusts. Like, things go all so slowly. That's far enough! Oh, 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 oh. So why is there fire? Hello? Is that Greek fire? Hmm. Do you guys know about Greek fire? I think, if I recall correctly, I 
could be wrong though. I think it's like, you know, extremely flammable, like, could even, like, be on fire on the water, kind of. I, I don't know. I mean, I dip a pole in it to test it, but Out I'm not touching way. it, even with a hazmat suit on. What do you mean? I don't see the problem. Also, yes, I know about Greek fire. Yeah. It's like we don't know the recipe for it anymore, do we? It's been lost to time. Probably for the best, because God knows that would have been used for so many That's far enough. war crimes. All of the war crimes, in fact. That is indeed a big ass fucking void gate. Jesus Christ. Oh! Oh, what the? <laughs> All shall cower before the might of arch feet. Can you so? Oh, is he one of the ground uh, king? Okay, interesting. Is he? Was he one of Golvis's like four dudes? Is, is this one of Golvis's four dudes? I forgot what their names were. But I mean, based on the fact that it sounds Italian and he seems intelligent enough, I'd be willing to bet. Looks a lot like the Corgin. Yeah, actually, true. I've been waiting so long. Don't disappoint. Brace yourselves. Super shake thing that kills you. True, true. Oh my god. Hold on, this fucking juice has the same color as that, like, guess what flavor it is? Fanta as well. No mercy. It is toxic. It's just like American soft drinks. For real, for real. Uh oh. What the turtle doing? for all the near-death stuff you pulled in the past. Okay! You know what? That's fair! 
but also let them hear you, little shit. The good, the fitting. Just thought I'd pop by and say hi. Yay! Of course! Thank you so much for stopping by. It's nice. <laughs> oh, you're here already? Oh, well, wait, you're you're already here? Oh, Lamal. Say hi to Joseph from me. Also, tell him to fucking come back to Final Fantasy. <laughs> Stop playing Guild Wars, bitch. No, oh, the fucking suit. You. Too into it, yeah, I can tell. Did not mean the jokes to be mean. Oh, eh? No, I didn't take it like that. Don't worry, man. Uh, he does kind of look like a Kojin. I can't unsee it now that Alice pointed it out. Goddamn. Looks like my brother from another mother. Hello, sir. Wait, no, don't leave. Treasure coffer. Yay. Tell me one thing, Kanyatso. I really love how like a all of the fucking of bad dudes' names are Italian ago, sounding. But I have felt our presence here again. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? <laughs> I dare say what you felt was this. Oh no. Is it like a body part? It is! What is up with dragons and the fucking eyes? I swear to God! What have you done to us, Daya? I don't think you want to know. <laughs> My brother in Christ. You answers. You'll have to get them from Lord Golbez. Lord Golbez. Assuming you have the strength to face him. Oh boy. He says hi back. Ha ha! A pity I will not see the plan to fruition. But my part is done. And to fight with the thrill of battle in my heart makes it all the more worthwhile. No! Well. Wait! Where is she? Where is my sister? <laughs> Poor Vitra, man. At he just wants last, his sister back. I go to join the great. Did he leave the eye, or did he bring it with him? Oh yeah, okay, it's still there. Back to films and lurking, okay, have fun. Get lots of cuddles in and stuff while you're here. Oh, God, imagine though, like, you haven't seen your sibling in literal millennia, and then you finally get a trail on where she might be and By you hear that she closing, might be fine be no doubt and then some fucking the asshole who who's like it. kidnapped her is like here her eyeball <laughs> that's morbid oh. as fuck Asdaya, i prayed we might meet once more not like this though not like this <laughs> man 
she is likely still in the void. Take heart. We will find Didn't her they just yet. go back to Charlene and interrogate him there? They have a way down to the live stream. Up. Uh, hmm. I. So what now? No, but the live stream isn't necessarily like. Would they be able to access the void While from there? While you discuss how to proceed with your search, I would excuse myself to look Not around. like they have a map of it, really. Maybe salvage that we could use at the camp. Even if there was a way. In that case, I'll patrol the area for more void scent. Oh, they're playing the fucking dragon song. Very well. Let us take a moment to consider our options. <gasps> Man! Man, what the hell? Why does he look so defeated? We are closer to finding a sister, are we not? Zero, you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it, Zero. God damn it. If they should go so far as to use his Daya's eye as bait, what could they be after? Yeah, but that the Oh, I just die. Oh, Vitra. <laughs> So, we have discovered the source of the Void Sense outbreak in Garlemald. A gate forced open from the Void. The barrier between our worlds is especially thin thing. Is especially thin here, I suspect. Elsewise, I see little reason why the Reapers chose to live in such an inhospitable place. True! Fair. True. Even if the conditions are ideal, we're talking about a gate that could pass an arch feat. Opening one so large could not have been easy. In the Age of Alag, Emperor Zonde created an enormous portal using a prodigious amount of ether harnessed by the Crystal Tower. In theory, a similar feat should be possible from within the Void. One need but have the requisite amount of ether. Such as that harbored by a Great Worm's eye. Uh, and its ether is indeed greatly diminished. How much fucking ether is in one dragon? Jesus Christ. In May's vision, Golbez lets his archfiends feed upon Ashdaya's ether. If he has also taken an eye to open this gate. Don't say it! Don't say it, Astinian! Don't do it! Don't say it! I don't know, four? I mean, you're. <laughs> you're not wrong. I. <clears throat> it does not bode well, I know. Nevertheless, we must remain hopeful and continue our search. What I find curious is why our foes chose to strike now, some 5,000 years after Ashdaya vanished into the void. And while their overarching plan remains a mystery, what exactly was Cagnazzo's part in, what part in it that he had finished? Cagnazzo. Cagnia? You know, like, Cagnia? Nya? Nya? God, I hate myself. <laughs> Dyer, what has become of you, that even your eyes should be so spent of ether? I cannot bear the thought of her being held captive a moment longer, but how will I find her? What must I do? Calm yourself, Vitra. Chillax, bro. I appreciate that you're upset, but such passion clouds your judgment. You must endeavor to remain composed. If your mind is clear, we may consider how to proceed with our search. <sighs> you're, you're right. In the meantime, I will help Althanon and Alizé back at the village. Ooh. That sounds like a fine idea. We should go as well. Baby, and he's staying behind! What is on? Here you go. Hold on. Where's my pet emote? Pet, pet. He's okay, honey. Pray give me a moment longer. Uh... Ah. 
Oops. I'm just gonna be right back real quick, guys. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So just give me a second. Jesus Christ, my VTuber model looked fucking insane there for a moment. I'm back! You know what? I kind of want to switch things up and do the Hickin Alliance raid. I want to see how fucking chaotic it gets. I've also been really, really fucking looking forward to it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Mark my words, I'm gonna fucking do it. Like it was annoyed. Did it? Really? <laughs> Let's see. It should be in Mordona, right? <laughs> yeah! It's up, baby! I've been waiting for this! Let's go! Ah! Derek's my beloved. 
Not the best at describing expressions. That's okay. Derek is awaiting word from Kryle. Oh, May. Tis good of you to come, but I'm afraid there's still no word from Kryle and Grahatia. They're working as fast as they can to compile the findings of our investigation, I shouldn't doubt. But between the Phantom Realms, the Etheric Data, and the Monument's Epigraph, they have much and more to review. Now, while awaiting developments, I had a mind to pay... Snowgeim. Snow... Snow... Snowgeim? Snowgeim. I had a mind to pay Snowgeim a visit in the Omphalos. If you aren't otherwise occupied, you should come too. The fucking... Welsh-inspired fucking names of the Rogadin man. <laughs> There's other people making their way over there too. Everyone's doing it. Hold on, that's a fucking person named Healing Succubus. Hmm. That is a pretty poggers outfit though, not gonna lie. It's so fun doing like current content because you're seeing other people doing the exact same thing as you. It's fun. I've never experienced this before. Ah! <laughs> Snowgeim has become something of a fixture here. So focused is she on her work, she often neglects taking sustenance. Me? <laughs> I pray her health doesn't suffer. Oh, if it isn't May and Derek! But no Kryle or Raha, I see. I like seeing the crowd around snoozing Ishtola. Oh, that must have been so fucking cute. Oh my god. And then you see 50% of them being in G polls as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, speaking of whom, would you not prefer to be with them in Charlian? You're a researcher too, after all. I find myself much more effective in the field. Being here gives me inspiration, you see. And of late, I've been mulling over the opening words of the epigraph. Lore, 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 lore. As beings who endure by the will of the star, we are susceptible to the influences, to the influence of hopes and prayers. Thus do we commit our yokes herein, lest we stray from our purpose. Right. The suggestion that faith has shaped the nature of the Twelve paints a truly intriguing picture. When Endwalker came out, sometimes there were so many it was hard to even see her. Oh god, I can imagine. If truth be told, I was also hoping that I might speak with the gods again. You do. But they haven't graced us since the time we solved the mystery of the monument. They only do so on exceptional occasions, it seems. Typing is hard, I feel you. Be that as it may, I believe there might be another way to see them. When we journeyed with the gods, Azima told me that each of them wished to speak with you in private. You, May. <laughs> if you were to call them before their heavens, I have a feeling they will answer. <gasps> You think so? So, won't you give it a try? And afterwards, let us know what they said. I, for one, see no harm in it. But if you are disinclined, then do not feel pressured. It is entirely your decision. Also, we all agree on the fact that Derek is most likely one of the twelve, right? And that he's just in disguise as a human or whatever, for some unknown reason, right? Like, man's acting mad sus. You now have the opportunity to speak with those of the Twelve whom you have encountered thus far. To do so, call to them before the entrances to their respective homes. You may advance the quest at any time by speaking with Derek in the envelopes. <gasps> we can talk one-on-one -on -one with the Twelve? Oh, oh my god! Wow! <laughs> it's the Warrior of Light. Everyone wants a piece of the fucking hero. Yeah, of course. Burb Spriggan Iragot. The Builder, right? Everyone wants a piece of that juicy warrior light cake. <laughs> and those thighs! Hello, Daddy! <laughs> okay, sorry. Ah, May, pleased am I that you should seek me out. I'd wish to speak with you. Jesus, man, this man is certain, like, he ain't called the Builder for nothing. Man's built! 
Fucking hell! It does me well to see that you've been dedicating yourself to crafting. In my capacity as the builder, I watch your progress upon this path with keenest interest. Oh my gosh! There's special dialogue if you're like, oh, that's so fun! I love that. The act of crafting embodies the spirit of improvement and advancement. It is my hope that you will ever strive forward and seize that which you would which you most desire with your own hands. Glabs. Glabs. The true endgame. That's so fun! The fact that we get to talk a bit, like, one-on-one -on -one with the different- Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, okay, okay. What about Ralph? <laughs> this is so fun! I love that. It's cute. I hope that even after we're done with the Alliance raid, we can go back and talk to them, because that would be really fun. Don't want it to be time gated because that would fucking suck. Or well, quest gated? Well, well, if it isn't the Dauntless May, full glad am I that you would thus call to me. When you and yours investigated the origins of the Fist of Ralgar, you posited some interesting theories, the connection between myself and the Sylph's divinity in particular. You did well to draw that conclusion. Hmm. Really? Your inquiring minds have taken you far, child of man, and they will take you further still. Imagine, like, if there was a dating sim with the 12. I mean, that's essentially what Hades is, but, you know, like... <laughs> Imagine being able to walk as Melvica. Mommy! <laughs> also love that the little minions are around, too. It's cute. <gasps> oh, Azema's so pretty as well. I love it. That fucking- oh, the design. Ah, May, at last you've come. <laughs> I was right to entrust your zealous scholar companion with the message. Ever since our first meeting, I knew that I simply must see you again. Zealous scholar compan- Grahatia? There's something familiar about you. You awaken forgotten feelings in me. Feelings that once smoldered like ambers amidst the ashes. Hmm. Perhaps you resemble someone I knew long ago. Yet whatever the reason, your presence gives me comfort and warmth. May your light ever burn bright. That is an interesting line. Okay. Okay. So. Mayhap the Twelve are some sort- have some sort of connection to the Ancients? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. I still kind of like hold fat, ho hold, hold onto that crack theory of mine because that would be really fucking cool, honestly. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. May we bid you welcome. Know that though we appear to be two beings, a dual aspect of divinity, it was not always so. Well, Asim poked around a lot from what the lore said. Yeah! True! True! Man's hopes harbor power, and it was his faith, over offered over millennia, that shaped us into our present form. That's really interesting though. In answer to, to your faith, we, the traitors, shall watch over mankind as he strives for that which he desires. Mm -hmm. I love this. That you can just talk to them. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. We move on to the next one. Fish! It's so cute that the little, like, minions are around. I love it. <laughs> okay, this is one that we still haven't unlocked. Is it the water one, I guess? Ugh. This one... Okay. Again, then there's... 
have enough earth key. No Fika, Alsic, and Nemea. Oh, there's three under Earth, huh? <sighs> I love her. Those titties, old man. Why, if it isn't May, you wish to speak, do you? You wanna go on a little date with me, ma'am? Tell me, have you ever met an elemental? Many talk. Many hold that they were born of me, and as I mentioned, they are the voice of those who abide in the Twelvehood. At times, they may seem excessive in their actions, but it is out of an abundance of love, so pray be good to them and heed their warnings. Ah. Uh. Let's see, I'll think. May, is it? I must say, there is something to be said for being summoned by a mortal. The life of a man is but a drop in the great river of time. Thus are you and yours wont to rush ahead, not wasting a single moment. Be that as it may, certain sights will only come into view if one stops to look. So be not afraid to pass the time in ways which, at first, may not seem fruitful. Should you dare to do so, you may well be visited by an eye-opening experience. Such is the richness of time. Ah. Uh. I'm just going around checking all of the dialogue. <laughs> Nemea is cute. Well now, if it isn't my dear May, how good of you to call to me. Honestly, I did not expect her demeanor to be like this, based off of her design. She looks like she'd be a lot more like ooh, aloof and standoffish, but no, she's quite nice. I'm sorry if I gave you a shock by joining my brother in battle, but I couldn't help myself. We've always done everything together, he and I. <laughs> Shogun, I want it. What can you do? Ah, such a joy it was to face you and yours. You displayed the self-same determination that allowed you to defy fate, and it was one surprise after another. You will. Okay, are there any more? Ah, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, yeah, there's one more, the ice one. That would be Haloni and... Mentina. Yeah. Bunny! Bunny! And then which ones are left then? Thaliac, right? Water. I can't remember. Names. How bold you are to summon me, Mae. Tis no less than I expect from you. In recognition of your valor and deeds, I offer a word of counsel. Her armor, though, oh my god. Well do I know the power of men's hopes, of mortal faith, and there is no faith that I reject. Yet in every age, there are those who invoke the name of the divine for their own ends. Be not misled by them. Mm -hmm. We've already encountered that in Heaven's Word. Wow. Who would you guys say is your favorite of the twelve, if you guys have a favorite? I quite like Nilfica for no reason in particular. <laughs> That's probably such a basic bitch answer, but like, Nilfina is also very nice simply because of her song. The music that plays. Ugh. Oh May, what a delightful surprise! You wished to see me, did you? Your beautiful and benevolent patron. <gasps> oh! Wait, there is a special little tidbit of like dialogue depending on who your patron is. That's so fun! That's so fucking fun! Oh my god! 
Now we need to Fantasia 12 times just to see what all of the different dialogue options are. <laughs> I'm truly grateful that we can talk like this. As you know, I'm the goddess of love, yet that obviously doesn't mean I have a monopoly on love. For instance, my brethren love mankind with all their hearts, just like me. And whether or not Oshan is my beloved as mortals believe, I have more than enough room in my heart for everyone. <laughs> Ayo, Minfina polyamorous confirmed. Ooh. Be it men or gods, I love you all alike. And needless to say, I love my adorable Dalama too, whom you and yours gifted to me. Oh wait, Dalama became a part of her mytho mythos? Because since humans created the fake moon, Dalamut. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Hi, Victor. Konkla. Thank you for lurking. Okay, 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 okay. Derek, where are you? Sir? Spoken to your satisfaction, have you? Then let us await Kryl and Grahatia together. Mm. When you actually learn the mythology about gods and goddesses of love and such, it's actually kind of dark. I mean, hmm, still no sign of them. I mean, Aphrodite is a bitch, for example. <laughs> Jealous, vindictive little shit who fucks over everyone. Don't get me started on freaking Cupid. Oh gosh, I can imagine. Ah, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Oh? Sir? As an adventurer, you are better traveled than most. Of the places you've seen, what kind do you like best? Ooh, that's a good question. Bustling hubs brimming with activity. Natural environs unspoiled by man. Far away lands where new encounters await. Quiet places where I can enjoy solitude. <sighs> oh, that's a good fucking question. I don't know. Don't make me choose, man. Oh my god. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Natural environs, maybe? I just like traveling in general, man. Like, just seeing new things. So you too enjoy being amidst nature. It gladdens me to know that we have that in common. I myself am partial to wandering Eorzea. So rich in ether, this land, and possessed of so many aspects. It was when I was traveling through the Twelves Wood that I encountered this fellow. I knew not how he came to be injured and alone, but I couldn't turn a blind eye. He's so tiny. He has long since recovered, and I probably should have returned him to his forest home. But when I see him here, undaunted in the presence of gods, I can't help but feel it was fate that delivered him to me. The whole arrow through the heart thing with Cupid is not for a light-hearted reason. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Still, the day will come when we must go our separate ways. Mm-hmm. Sus. They're finally here, everyone. <gasps> Trial Graha! Ah, my husband! My beloved Grahatia. Welcome back. How fared your work? <sighs> it took longer than we anticipated, but we managed to compile our findings, and hence deliberated a course of action. Indeed. Here on, we should we would do well to tread with caution. The waveforms we recorded with the etheric analyzer revealed an unsettling occurrence. And now the gushing starts. Yes! Yeah, of course! Look at him! He's so shaped! <laughs> In the course of fighting us, the gods expended a, a tremendous amount of their ether, so much so as to dilute their very essence. Oh, damn, okay. They really went all out, huh? Lest you worry, you've done no wrong, mate. The gods themselves wish to fight, after all. True, true. That being said, we should avoid engaging in further battle until we learn more about their true objective. To that end, we will seek out the 13th unnamed being, whose duty is to watch unflinching. 
Is it maybe the Watcher on the Moon? I feel like maybe this was brought up already, but could it be the Watcher on the Moon? Hmm. If Raha is correct, and we have no reason to believe otherwise, said being is the Watcher on the Moon. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, that was already mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. He's among my top five favorites. Yay! I love my Graha Tia so much. He's so... I just want to, like... <laughs> tenderly hold him and also, like, bite his arm, you know? <laughs> You'll be pleased to know I've already acquired permission to use the Tower of Babel from the, from the Ilsabard contingents, who presently oversee the structure. We... we're really going, then? To the moon? Huzzah! <laughs> Let's go! Finally, answers! Ah! <laughs> I wonder what the Watcher is like. He goes, <laughs> If there are no other matters, then let us set forth at once. Let's go! If you still wish to speak with the gods, best to seek them out now. They may not be here later. Can't remember if Graha has ever been to the moon? I don't think so. Wait in front of the Watcher's Palace. <gasps> I mean, I figure the dialogue with the gods will probably be the same. <sighs> oh god, there's so many people! <laughs> Lamau, holy shit. <laughs> I sure do wonder what they're all standing around here for. Hmm. That's so funny. <laughs> Greetings, Hydaelyn's champion. You are ever welcome here, as are your companions. I don't think Rohan and Kryl have ever been to the moon. Tis a pleasure to meet you, Watcher. We come hoping that you would answer some questions for us. Questions about Hydaelyn. Squats? No! God damn it. No! Not the rest of them, sir. Please, sir. I am but a small patat, so why must you do this to me? Yamina! <laughs> why are we here just to suffer? Oh, 
exactly why I did it, Fula. Hmm. Okay. I guess. hydration. <laughs> and destruction. Okay, I'm alive. Back to lore. <laughs> we have deciphered the monument at the heart of the Phantom Realm. In addition to the names of the du and the duties of the Twelve, it speaks of one who is unnamed, who shall watch unflinching. Is it you? Are we correct in assuming that that individual is you? Wee -woo. <laughs> the Twelve have existed for eras. If you know aught about them, will you not share your knowledge with us? They have a desire which they claim can only be fulfilled through battle with mankind. We wish to understand what that is. Please. Always great to redeem the workouts redeems. <laughs> so man has managed to come this far. Very well. You have earned the right to know. <gasps> Let's go! Remember, however, that I am but a creation. Though I have been imbued with some memories of the past, they are far from complete. Okay. Lore! 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 First of all, I am indeed the unnamed being the monument describes. <gasps> we knew it! 
an entity created by Hydaelyn to serve a purpose, alongside the Twelve. Preserving the history of mankind? Together, they were charged with preserving equilibrium on a sundered and unstable star. Like myself, they were given shape from people who once existed- I KNEW IT! I FUCKING KNEW IT! I KNEW IT! I KNEW IT! Is it the people in the convocation? Please tell me it is. Please. Unless, maybe it's like the people... I don't know, actually. And like myself, they believed that the world should be entrusted to the new life that had emerged. Instead of the people on the convocation, it's based on people who are in the other faction. The ones who helped with summoning Hydaelyn. While I do not possess detailed memories of that time, Vanat selected those she, she deemed best suited to their respective duties. <gasps> that would explain why the Twelve appear to have personalities like mortals. The men and women they once were influenced... The men and women they once were influenced their personalities, yes. But so too did the faith of mortals. Yeah, they are based on ancients! I fucking called it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Huh. <sighs> Knowingly or no, when men pray, they will... They will the object of their worship to assume a form that can better grant them their heart's desire. In this manner, have the Twelve been shaped over eons into images that fits men's ideals. Which is why Nofika's got big fat milkers! <laughs> I mean, she is the fucking goddess of, like, you know, harvest and whatnot, so it makes sense. <laughs> so you were right, Raha. Hopes and prayers have the power to influence the gods. God, Gratia, he's so pretty. Why must he look like that? Please, sir. Marry me already. <laughs> Yet, even as they thus changed at Vanat's behest, they would have refrained from intervening in mortal affairs. As a result, there will have been times when they acted in ways that are contrary to your expectations. But now that Hydaelyn is no more and the final days averted, the Twelve have, de have arrived at a decision regarding their fate all their own. And that is? It is not for me to reveal the truth of their desire. I can, however, guarantee that I that it will not visit harm upon mankind. Nay, far from it. Well, I for one never felt that the gods meant us ill. To have your guarantee as well, we couldn't possibly doubt them anymore. Nerd. God, girl, it's you, so fucking hot. <laughs> it is most assuring to confirm the connection between you and the, and the Twelve. <laughs> with this, we may proceed in our quest with easier hearts. E. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. We shall return to the Omphalos and continue engaging with your brethren. Like, we get bare bones information. We barely get any information at all. We really only get confirmation of, like, the stuff that we already had established. But, God! That as well. As I watch on, I shall pray that a tale comes to a happy conclusion for gods and men alike. I love how it's just running around in the background. Eee. I love you, Watcher. I don't know who you are, but I love you. Mwah. Hmm. Always hella sus whenever the camera just pans in on one of the characters standing around thinking. Hmm. Sus. Among us. May your journey be fulfilling. I really ho wished that we would have heard the wee -oo. Like, they wouldn't have needed to, like, do any more- do any other voice acting, just we would have been enough. <laughs> okay, we go back to Mordona. we we Let me in. Let me in. Let's go. 
Sadly, only one raid has ever been, had voice acting, as far as I can remember. Raid or alliance raid? Something's amiss. The gods' avatars are nowhere to be seen. That's because our preparations are complete. Okay. Uh -huh. What's happening? Oh, let's go! It's water and... I don't know what this green one is. Forest? No, oh, I don't know. Grass type. <laughs> Oh. We get to see the final designs! Whoa! Who is that? What the fuck? Oh! Oh my god! They're so pretty! Oh, I've waited so bloody long for this moment. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. Who the fuck is that? Oh! Lim Lane. Oh, Lim Lane! Oh! Are such uncouth words the first you would speak unto our guests? Oh, leave off, Thaliac. You can't tell me you're not as excited as I am. I would be the first to admit my joy, but on such a momentous occasion I would act with due propriety. Oh, they're so pretty! Oh, my god. Well met, children of man. Welcome and well met. <laughs> A look for the rest of the stream. Gonna watch some series before sleepy time. Have fun. Thank you! Thank you for hanging around, Toynaxi. Enjoy your series and sleepy times. Wow. The only one you've ever seen of voice acting was the coils. Aha! Okay. Well met, children of man. Tis our understanding that you have spoken with the Watcher and, as and ascertained our true nature. Vaguely, huh? Indeed, we were created by Hydaelyn to tend the star. And they were probably members of Hydaelyn's, like... Having built the Omphalos at its heart, and our sanctums throughout Aether-rich Eorzea, we labored to preserve the balance of reality. All of this we have learned, but there is still one thing we do not understand. Our analysis of the Phantom Realm revealed that you and yours dilute your very selves by fighting us. Would this not impede your ability to carry out your duties? Maybe it's that they don't want to have to carry out their duties anymore. Maybe they just want to rest after millennia of serving the star. We appreciate your concern, but you needn't worry. I knew it! I fucking knew it! Derek is one of them! Bitch! Sus! Amogus! Imposter! Ah! I knew it. You were him all along. Yeah! <laughs> Love it when they drop hints that actually, like, pay off. Likewise, I knew that you harbored suspicion as to my true identity. Yeah, baby! Let's go! Ah! Is it? <sighs> While my brethren used various creatures as their avatars, I chose the form of a man, the better to share in your solitude. Oh! <laughs> and it fell to me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, ayo thighs? Leggy? Oh my god. Oh. Horrorous behavior. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. The Wanderer. No, Oshan. Fuck. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Not Thaliac. Oshan. <laughs> the Wanderer. To beckon unto the Omphalos, they who would grant- who could grant our wish. Ah! Is it- is Thaliac the only one that, that we haven't seen then? Think? What? How could you hide such a thing from us? 
Oh no, he's hot. Oh my god, look at those fucking man boobs though. Like, uh. Had you known my true identity and our purpose, we feared that you would refuse to fight us. But our fears were unfounded. You've heeded our request and, despite the hardships, endeavored to grant it. Oppo, oppo, monkey! Forgive me, May, but I must leave the little fellow in your care. <gasps> no! In the innermost parts of our realm, we shall reveal the truth in its entirety. I await your coming with bated breath. This is our grandest moment, mortal. Gird your loins and have at us. Wait, that's Thaliac. I'm a fucking idiot. I was just like, wait, Thaliac? No, that's that. I'm an idiot. I Names, okay? Don't say anything. <laughs> I shall receive you with my all. Be as a raging torrent, child of man. thing to say that you're actually a god. <laughs> is the Wanderer, the deity who shares immense solitude. And in order to beckon us to the Phantom Realm, he posed as an explorer and solicited the aid of the Sons of Sing Koinok. Honestly, kind of genius. It works. In spite of this, I do not feel as though I've been deceived, nor do I harbor any resentment. Rather, I simply feel sad. I understand. Tis as if a dear friend were certainly spirit were suddenly spirited far away. Raha! <laughs> hmm. In hindsight, perhaps it was in expectation of the coming battle that he had kept me at arm's length. Good baby! No! I feel so bad for the opal, but what the fuck? I imagine it must be even harder for you. But to know that one of the twelve walked among us, it makes me want to do the best we can by them. Ooh. I, since time immemorial, the twelve have watched over all who abide on this star. And even as they fulfill their purpose of maintaining stability as beings possessed of sentience, they also heeded the hearts of men. So let us likewise heed their hearts and do our utmost to grant them their desire. And I believe we all know what comes next. We fight to the death! Let's go! Excite. By all indications, this will be the final foray into the God Sanctum. This task we entrust to you and your adventure friends once more, mate. <laughs> As there is no telling what may happen afterward, I shall remain on guard here. Twice now you have triumphed, and I have faith that you will do so yet again. Go well, May. My husband, he believes in us. Who? <laughs> we attack and dethrone gods! Let's go! Dun, 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 dun. 
last one called? Othalea. Oh. You've got mail. I've got mail. Let's see. Friend list. I need a life rat connoisseur as well, because fuck him. is alive. I'm just checking who's able to join. Wait, have I been muted? I think I've been accidentally muted in OBS for... I don't even know how... Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> At least a minute. No! <laughs> Motherfucker. You've only done this once before and I spent most of the time on the floor. Oh boy! <laughs> this will be an experience. And the tank though, it should be fine. Hmm. We'll see how long it takes. Average wait time, 11 minutes. The fuck am I supposed to do in the meantime, huh? Island Sanctuary? That's what Rats was doing. Tank privilege TM. I'll go and check my mail, because I've got mail for some reason. Who the fuck sends me mail? Fights and are great in the music. Ah! Yeah, that's what I've been looking forward to the most. Elaine, had you already done it? Yeah, I just did it. Yeah. Thoughts, feelings. Spoilers. <laughs> I like the story more than I thought I would. <laughs> yeah, honestly, because like the lore stuff is so. <laughs> it's uh, really nice to just have a connection. Mm -hmm. this, you, you already heard all the gods names throughout the whole story and then you finally like get to know what they actually did mm -hmm. that's pretty nice yeah. Hakuna Matata meerkat okay where the fuck did you get a meerkat from? I met a cop. oh my god Hakuna Matata a wonderful phrase Hakuna Matata Ain't no passing craze It means no worries For the rest of your days It's our trouble-free Philosophy Hakuna Matata And if you've done the side quests in Elpis It gets even better just saying yeah, I need to do those! I still haven't Ah! Mm -hmm. Also, Elaine, if you grow tired from hearing my voice, feel free to mute me or hop out of the call at any time. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> I know what I signed up for. <laughs> Unless 
You sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's shit. go! Okay, three minutes when the average wait time was 11. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Let's go! Killer and tank, please. Please. <laughs> Tanks! Tanks, please! Tanks! Motherfucker! Come on. One more. Yay! Let's go! Come on, come on! I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never experienced this before. Doing an alliance raid, like, when it drops and it's fresh out of the fucking pan. Water! Embrace the chaos. Chaos. Well, I will join the voice now. Oh, oh no! <laughs> You're live on Twitch.tv. You're now famous. You can say, oh Mom, I'm God. on TV! I know. 11 people hear my voice. <laughs> oh my god! It's so pretty! <gasps> oh. Not gonna lie, the music is killer. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. My ears. Your voice is not bad to listen to, May. There are much worse things. Ew. <laughs> oh, stop it, Ew. You're just eating that. Let's go! Yeah, this entire alliance raid is just gonna be me fangirling. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Excite! I also love that, like, since this is the Thaliac area, there's, like, you know, the little Charlie and Nautilus Come, is all mortals. around. Mm -hmm. Make your way through our watery sanctum. Watery sanctum. Mmm, wet. Let us see how you fare against my servants. You're lucky you've not heard what I had to hear in a multiplayer game when a scripture screwed up the audio. audio. Oh, God. Broken up curse Tom's the tank engine theme song with a screaming child in the background. That was the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. What the fuck? That Dude. sounds awful. Thanks, I hate that. I mean, it, it, it doesn't Only sound to that be expected awful. for they who vanquished my pupil, Byregard. It shall be my pleasure to welcome you personally. That fucking dude is so far ahead, Jesus Christ. That's why you don't want scripters to ruin a game. What's a scripter exactly? Uh, it's, I think it's the guys that write everything people should say. Ah. Oh, the designs of the I twelve of like the, the gods to this here are so nice. Children of man. The scholar shall measure your depth of knowledge. Scholar ah. representation! <laughs> Scholar representation. Scholar representation. Let's go. <laughs> we have one. A scripter is the proper <laughs> term for hackers. Ah. Ooh. This music. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Is that guitar? This, this like sounds a bit like the Isles of Ah, but that. It's sexy 
Knowledge, not all knowledge is wisdom. Okay. Fair. I mean, look at me. I may be book smart, but I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> at what answer will you arrive, I wonder? You know, my, I actually have 2,000 points on your screen. No, they have. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I could make you sing a song. I dare you. I happen to like the sound of my own voice. <laughs> of ignorance, this is a threat. <laughs> I, I really want to walk into the raid with this. Oh boy. Join me in deepest knowledge. <laughs> Why is it arrow shaped? Oh, the floor. Let's flow oh, the floor. There, there are lines line. on the floor. There are lines on the floor. Oh God. Uh, yeah. Also, he deleted the floor. Oh God. Oh Lord. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Seek new perspectives, and you uh. shall find new paths. I actually like this. And that's the cage. Oh, yeah. The fuck does the cage do? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> what does it do? Followed by sounds of confusion. <laughs> Small wonder the others have exalted so. Is it just me or did I see the Triforce there for a second? Yeah. Pretty much. Love how I'm just standing there smack dab in the middle. I know, I mean, you're... I can't see you because you're alone. <laughs> this music fucks. Oh, fuck! Shit! Fuck! I didn't think you could fall off! That, it makes sense that you would be able to fall off, though, since there's a push, push mechanics. <laughs> I... I'm stupid, okay? It's time for a test. <laughs> Share with me your ruminations! I still remember when you were new and you had to heal us or something. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Um, where is it? Oh, there's something in the middle. Uh, yeah. It's all your flashbacks. Voltate. Oh, that was nothing. I mean, you're a fucking tank. <laughs> you're a warrior! <laughs> Bitch! Oh yeah, your your viewers should know I Not walk into everything. Answers can be obtained okay, through so shit's gonna rotate. How far do they rotate though? Um Hmm. I, I, don't I think they just rotate one like I think this is not the good side. place. I, it's a concept. Oh it's a okay. Yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. this is not good place. Oh. Ah! Hey damn it. <laughs> Prove to me the wisdom of man! Oh god, triangle moment again. Five floor. Five floor! Let it is a triforce. Enlighten one another. A triforce seems to have all three parts. Amanamana. It's vaguely triforce. So you call every triangle you ever see a triforce? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> yeah, my mom exists. <laughs> you know that stuff doesn't work on Swedes, right? Eh, I know. <laughs> you never know, sometimes. <laughs> we'll get them next time. <laughs> Maybe on Gen C years. Could work. Not really, no. Oh gosh. It's a bit fucky when the floor like reappears and you're just like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving. This music fucks so hard though, oh my god.
That's just a weird thing to say to music. No, that's a very normal thing to say about music. I'm too old. Well done, wise children. I heard like people say well the music like the song slaps or like a song. Smooth is sailing, yeah, awesome. yeah. yeah. Something slapping is also Come like yeah. yeah. I've never heard someone say it's fun. I don't know. I feel like that's a thing that youngsters say. The to no, the that's the first time I hear it from you now. Really? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Don't keep me waiting. Okay, well. <laughs> I also saw saying that it's like Let a me prepare bad, a bad suitable thing. Stage is it? For our union. That saying that the song fucks, it's a bad thing? Is it? No, no something can thing. fuck in a positive way. Lim Lane's so pretty though. Oh god. Oh! Holy shit. Is this like the Bible? This is Moses? <laughs> Instead of this is Thancred, this is Moses. I would say this is the most generic uh, oh, fantasy yeah. fight in games. Well, yeah, it? but you know, but... the whole party in the sea thing, Majiggy. I'll teach you the ways of navigation! I, I haven't played most Manning RPGs, but I, the ones I played always had a water fight with water on the sides. <laughs> Okay. Water and water and water I mean, water I'm, I'm water not the most water. experienced gamer Mine person. Are the these, waves uh... and the winds. I mean, granted, I've played like Kingdom Hearts 2 and <laughs> that type of water. Dear God, fight. any any and all Kingdom Hearts players, I just have to wonder, like, are, are y'all okay? Do you need yeah. help? Blink no, twice no, if you're being held hostage. <laughs> we, we are okay. Blink, we, blink. We, we, uh, Can you contend with she who rules the tides? Only play the main games. But then you're missing half the story. <laughs> <laughs> My trident I mean, the very there is, we watch cutscenes. I, I mean, I still have to watch some cutscenes. You say but that then... as if that's a bad thing. <laughs> Wait, it cleared up more of the fucking. Okay, huh. You must make an ally of the wind. Grindaid. I mean, I wouldn't say no to having this area as something. T posing. Rise above the white house. Can I have water? Can I have water walls in, the, in my house? <laughs> Sounds oh, like I... a great way to put spots. We're being chased. I'm going Prince to die. body is just floating along. <laughs> I'm going to die. Ah, oh, you don't disappoint. Dear God. Like the stormy seas, I'm a harsh mistress. I'm a harsh mistress. <laughs> That's what she said. Um. Oh, Jesus what, Christ. What, what is this? No clue. Okay, so. Oh, lightning rods? Lightning run, rods. Run, run, okay. run, 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 World stacks. I was just gonna say, but you're okay, but no, I don't think so. <laughs> I, trust I mean, May also has four. Play too. Yeah. And it's, it's worse if she dies. <laughs> <laughs> Join us in the excitement. Oh. I'm fine. Look at my shield. You can't see a chat, but look at my shield. <laughs> uh, oh god. Oh. Uh, <laughs> how, how the Don't hell do you react to something that's there for like one second? Mm. I mean, I read people complaining that this raid is too easy. Mm. Ah. I, I have like six we... stacks of vulnerability! <laughs> That's the way, my clever serpent. You have, I have seven. I win. You're tank, though. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> but oh that God. took like. Oh fuck! I'm so close to death. <laughs> Feel 
the might of the navigator! I mean, the other tank died. I mean, the other healer died. Go on, my pets! Don't be shy! <gasps> Oh. oh. Oh no! Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Alliance C. <laughs> Oopsie. I did not understand that. Uh -huh. Boundless as the ocean. Should we just respawn? Nah, the other healer got it. Uh -huh. Oh, the, the, so the other healer like almost that. a singular. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, You're alive on Twitch. Yeah, me streaming. Um, should we? You can surely I mean, do better than it's that. Alliance A and Alliance B, they're, they're they're handling it. Together, they make up an entire full party. <laughs> It's only one healer now. Oh god! And it's and and the healer shows. Yeah, now it's two healers. Oh god! I love it's the everyone else is the just the entire B is two healers. <laughs> floor five. Yeah, baby, we floor tanking. I mean, the the floor needs some good protection. What can I say? Jesus Christ! Okay, more people. I mean, I I would rest other healers, but okay, their choice. This wouldn't have happened if my cat hadn't walked across my keyboard. Oh no! A serpent after my own heart. I mean, cats ruin everything. Yep. Sometimes. <gasps> I'm getting a raise. Oh my god! I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh my god. Elaine. Really? Of course! Bitches live! I think we got it. We got it. We, we got this. Oh no, I'm getting rest. Race for the storm! Live, bitch. You have no choice. But I was chilling! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you can't have tank privileges now. <laughs> oh, now I have to play. You're a tank, not a floor <laughs> tank. Get up, bitch. Oh god. But I'm a. I, I always wanted to be a dragoon when I was small. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Of the navigator. Oh, I mean, so I, I can force my sh myself to chill. Go on, my pets. Don't be shy. You don't get to chill the maze playing. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Uh, oh Fuck. no, I'm us. dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm somehow alive. How am I alive? <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive because I, I, I to did the correct thing, which I don't understand what it is. Oh, you died now. Yeah. I'm doing my best to not explain the colors because I want to see the chaos. <laughs> also, I'm dying, so I probably shouldn't say anything. Swim free, my pet. Oh. LB3, we oh, do no, not have an no. LB. Oh, oh, no, no. You can do it, guys. How many are even alive, man? Oh my god. I think A needs some healers, but it's... Uh... uh, three healers. You can surely do better than that. Uh... I mean, enough so we have three limit breaks. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I died again! <laughs> I was a little late. Sorry, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. LB3. Wow. Wow. We don't have LB3. Someone used LB before. Okay, okay. We 
run... When do we run? I think we run now. As long as I don't use any abilities, I'm fine! And I'll take any damage! <laughs> oh, oh my god, oh my god, it's gonna spray out here. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Die, people. <laughs> well, don't worry, Elaine, I'll rescue. I've got you, baby. We have LB1. Wow. <laughs> amazing. Oh my god, amazing. It's slay, girl. Slay. Yes. yes. <laughs> we are trying. We are indeed trying. <laughs> You Look, we did it. We did it. Wait, I have. How did we fucking live? To navigate the season oh, ahead. I have full elegant tombstone casual. casual After day. all oh this time, oh my god, it feels strange. Oh. Us. Okay, sure, sure. We move to the mythic mountains. Thank you for making it this far. Not long Did now, someone actually manage to LB3? Our journey together must end. We never had LB3. Bro, when people say this is too easy, what planet are they living on? Uh. I mean, it's probably easy when you know what you do. Should but I go. learned, <laughs> I learned nothing in that fight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can say that the, my last run was much smoother. <laughs> I don't really know why the difference was. There was uh, no why. People who actually know what they're doing, I guess. <laughs> This I am the last of us to face you. Is this Zenus? Zenus voice actor? No, it's Arbor. It's Arbor. Oh. oh, is so, yeah, it? Yeah, I kind of popped off. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need to listen. I am listening. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it sounded like Zenus. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus Christ. May you got got that. Shut up. Stand firm amidst the You got an arrow to the knee. I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, what wait, what? It? What the fuck is that? What does that indicate? Huh? Oh, it spins. It indicates that. Spleen! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I I I follow the group. Uh, <laughs> this is really uh, the fight. Man. Okay, Introducing uh, completely is, new stack markers this, that we've never fucking same, seen right? This is the same, right? This is the same as the other. But now people walk. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now people walk walk over here. I mean, either you way works, I guess. Yeah. Oh God, I have the stack marker. <laughs> Watch me just run away from everyone. I think he hates Lala's. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, come on. Can't you... It's also very make... fun how, like, you get a small little dialogue, like, a small little line acknowledging which one is your patron deity that you chose in character creation. I think that's quite fun. I have Nymea. Oh, nice. Imagine not picking hello. Hello, me. Hello, me. Uh, I know nothing about Final Fuck. Fantasy. What's Shit. So Wind, guide my arrow. Oh, I, I will. Uh... <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> my bowstring. I didn't think that there would be two of them. <laughs> and now you stand like, right like here. Oh! Not again! <laughs> no, do this shit again! Also, I'm so sad I rolled for one of the things I didn't need, and now when I 
there was a thing I wanted. I can't roll for it because apparently you can only get one of the things a week. <clears throat> yeah. Fuck. That's a, that has always go. been a thing. This poor Lala fella can't catch a break. <laughs> Bitch, I'm short to begin with. Stop bullying me. Alright. Pass. 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 Oh, I forgot about that. So now I got something shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got something completely shit too that I can't use. <sighs> it was a ninja head. I, got I a don't fucking... even have ninja on close a... to my thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't. My ninja is like 31. Wind! Guide my arrow! You can overcome this. I know you can. Also, the heads is like. Arise! The head beats. It is Arthur's voice actor. Ooh, Arthur! That was not intended to be bullying. No, it's. I mean. I know. I you, mean, I, you? I just turn everything into bullying for myself. By fighting you! I mean, the lane. Don't you have the, the Japanese star. voices? No. Okay. Okay, what's happening? Oh god, he's big. Go. Oh, he's, he's, he looks like human. Uh, idea. Mm. Oh god. Okay, what's happening? Ah. Ah. <laughs> the biggest day we you've ever seen. Big. That? Oh, he's like... Uh, eh. Those who hesitate are lost! Okay! Oh. What the f actual... Aoyes! He likes arrow brain. Yeah, man. I mean, it's the most effective in killing people, so... Ah, but then... How are we, that how one are we safe to him? How are we safe here? Behold the wondrous arrow! Mechanics, I don't know. Okay. How were we safe? Okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what A whole lot of arrows! What? Ah! Yeet! How do you even know where to stand? Oh my god! Okay. What was that? I'm bad that the machine oh. came to us. You sounded like so defeated, Emma. We're confused here. What was that fucking voice? They put his fucking voice through the fucking fryer. Jesus Christ. Here <laughs> our journey ends. What is that? I'm scared. scared. Don't punt the lollapel. That's what everyone does. I'm used to it. This is fine. <laughs> Let's kick ah, the lava. I'm taking damage. I'm fucking dying. I'm 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 fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm not oh, fine. Oh. <laughs> Don't die. It's best to have one you on the road ahead. Okay, corner. Corner. Oh, fuck. I got rest. I will, I will always punch lava. <laughs> punch the lava. May the wind ever be on your Okay, bitch, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, Sean, explain. <laughs> America, explain. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh that was not fun. Ah! Oh, okay. Are you kidding? LB3, 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 LB3! Very good. Now uh, we don't need LB3. Are you sure about that? Mankind has indeed grown strong. Yeah, too many people alive. Hmm. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh dear god. Don't stand. Don't stand to me. close to me. When this battle is over, I... Um. Why are you fucking dying? <laughs> oh my god. Nah, there's more Lalafels to punch. There's more Lalafels to punch. The only Lalafels to punch is the stupid merchant syndicate. Oh, Telegia, Telegia! There's more Lalafels. Yes. 
like that redhead shit in the uh... Shadow Ringers? No, no, the the one in the uh, in Alphino's thing. Oh, the Crystal Braid, sorry. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. The one who has a really big voice in Japanese. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's so I funny. Uh, I can't remember his name. The future. Yeah, no. Yuyuhase, I think. Something like that. Yu Yu yeah, I think so. Stay the course to the end. Hasu <laughs> Horon. Okay. Okay. What? Stuff I can't get. The uh, number one Lala felt to never punt is Tataru. Yeah. Oh shit, we're back here! <laughs> Hello! Grahatia, my beloved! <laughs> of course there's people simping for Graha. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta pay respects to the number one has bundle. You're back! The Omphalus! It's suddenly transformed! Oh, I can't <gasps> need on this! Grahatia, my beloved! Oh god! Servants! What's the meaning of this? Nani? Nani? Those ones, I leave to you. Sin eater shields. Angelos. Look at all those Angelos. <laughs> Have you guys been reading the fucking uh, short stories, by the way? No. No? Mm -hmm. Just one of them. Oh. Do you want just like a small, tiny spoiler, or do you not want anything at all? I don't uh, care. Okay. It's fine for me, too. Ah. It's, it's brought up, kind of, uh, that at least when the kid, when the twins were little, the Levier family had a dog whose name was Angelo. Oh, yeah. oh so that's why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you know why? Because in Final Fantasy VIII, the dog's <laughs> name is Angelo. Oh, oh my god. And she and Andreona has the Angelo cannon where she mounts the dog on her wrist. Thing oh, I love that. That's so fucking fun. Yeah. Angelo cannon. Cannon. Uh, do I have to watch the cutscene? Yes. I mean, I don't know. I, I skipped the things before. I want to watch the cutscene! <laughs> Bitch! <clears throat> I mean, I could still let you watch and not watch it. Oh, I mean, I never do. But also, what kind of psychopath are you skipping all of the cutscenes? <laughs> Sir. Uh... I skipped, like, the entire raid. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really care. Well, someone in the Alliance pointed out, like, I'm curious to see who's the last boss. We already fought the 12. That's true. That's true, actually. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Just about this. Eh? Wait. Eh? Who are yeah, we fighting are. then? <laughs> we have fought 12 people because the brother and sister were together. Sans Undertale, no! <laughs> no! Brother and sister together. <laughs> we home Alabama. <laughs> I mean, that's just, you know, basic god mythos bullshittery. I mean, technically, in like medieval fantasy times, that, that shit was normal. Someone says no spoilers, please. And they're in the middle of the Alliance raid. Huh? <laughs> Megalovania orchestration rule. Okay, I'll watch this because this looks cool. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Are they gonna summon the Watcher or something? The will of the star has entrusted the future oh to you Oh my god, our universal sector! <laughs> As entities charged with ensuring life on Aetheris, we rejoice oh in this outcome with all our hearts. Oh I love how the dog was so big as well. What's happening? <gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> Are we fighting the Warrior of Light again? I swear to God. Oh, what the fuck? The Twelve. Eulogia. What the fuck? It's all of them mashed together. That's... Tis time. Nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> also the fact that Dalamud is on the chest plate. Yes! <laughs> Don't go representation. 
Okay. Just a, uh, what the fuck? Have a mustache? Did the wolf have a mustache? Whiskers. Whiskers. Okay. Very thick whiskers. He's a good boy. What the fuck? Only three achievements? What? Mustache wolf! Other people also pointed out mustache wolf. Yeah. Not enough eyes. Biblically accurate god. Mm -hmm. Just a mishmash of everything. Let's go, people! Oh, okay. Let's go, champ! Ten. People actually gonna adhere to it? They Four, never do with the countdowns three, usually. Two, one. Oh my god, they actually um, followed it! Holy shit, that's never happened before in the history of ever! New content, dude. New content. People respect the new content. I respect that. Imagine how nightmarish it must be to just mash your fucking, like, uh, consciousness together with, like, 11 other people. You're just constantly hearing each other screaming. Isn't that the internet? Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. That's Reddit. That, yeah, <laughs> that's true, that's true. Even worse, fortune. Why are you too cold now? like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently we should stand here. I don't know why. Are we gonna get punted? Right. Right. Everyone stands here. I, okay. I'll well. just pretend I understand this ah. one. Yeah, okay, and now people are. Oh, okay. Ah. I don't understand it. I got hit by every one of these. <laughs> oh, just two of them. Not sure how I feel about this design though. It feels very messy. But I guess that also makes sense, given that this is just a bunch of different gods being mashed together. I don't fucking know. Okay, around us is all of their symbols. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's around us everywhere. <clears throat> huh. Oh! oh. And it. We all had it easy, Meteon had hundreds if not thousands of sisters, and they all fused together with sorrow and hate. Oh god. Oh, okay. I find that on the center for now. <laughs> it takes a while. Blessings be upon the Ethereus. I wish we had more Meteon. Why? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, she's like one of the best characters in, in Walker. Oh, uh, Nightmare Bird. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. It was only Nightmare when we went on the ship. That was scary. It was also a oh, bit yeah. of Nightmare when, when her consciousness was being overtaken by all of the other sisters and she was just like, ah, oh god! You know? <laughs> That was oh, a yeah. bit of nightmare. Yeah. They can have a bit of nightmare as a treat. But in the ship she jump scares you. Yeah. Little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 jump yeah. scares. I was not ready for that, so I actually jumped. Yeah, same. <laughs> I mean I thought this game was like 12 years old. Very thick, so. Yeah. The collective mind, Meteon herself is a nice character. Yeah. Oh, it's this mechanic again. Can we be friends? Oh, May could die. <laughs> May can die. <laughs> Okay, it's this mechanic. Uh, where are we standing? Oh my fucking god. It's so dark, basically. You're pretty good, 
I have a feeling we're gonna wipe. What do you mean? Just wait for LB3. <laughs> Uh, too long. No, Sylviar can still work than this. Sylviar gets rotated, bitch. <laughs> oh shit, it's this one. It's, I mean, it's not even the rotation that wipes shit, so... But this is this easy mechanic. Yeah, I like this mechanic. It's only bad if you don't see colors. Yes. I mean, the game does have some sort of color blindness, like sports, I guess, but it's... Uh... Okay, now it's this. Where do we... Lightning rods. Oh, no. Now we walk away from the lightning rod. Walk away from the danger stick. <laughs> and don't get hit, also. Hey, that hey. would be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm slow, okay? Fuck, I'm dead! Again! How many times have I mean, I I'm, I'm not. Ring? I'm not surprised. I, I think it's like over 10. <laughs> Depends on what kind of color blindness you have. Yeah, yeah. There are also some small shapes on that uh, blue, yellow one. I think. One of them has triangles. Lala fellow small legs can't run. Exactly, exactly. I'm just RPing, but man. <laughs> I'm just saying all the other Lala fells manage. Uh... Are there other Lala fells? Oh, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if, if we have any other Lala fells in the raid. That's why I'm lying here, I think it's okay. I mean, given the fact that I only ever really see the level diving in Mansa, I don't even know if they actually play the game. <laughs> okay, what the fuck just happened? Uh, I have no idea what that is. Uh, uh, There's like shit going down now, all around us. And I get hit with everything. Also, what is this? Oh, it's the healer check. And we have no healer in Alliance Six. Let's see. LB3, please. Please. Oh, I have an ability I have forgot to use for the entirety of the raid. Sorry. something oh, shit. I contributed <laughs> so many hands the LB3 is so pretty golden light here comes the best attack someone spoiled oh, damn it. <laughs> why they gotta spoil man I don't understand what happened with the best attack. It was really <laughs> underwhelming. Flashing colors, what more do you need? I want an attack that, that almost kills the entire race. And looks cool.
seven for sub left. My part floor tanking, hell yeah. I like that they have to, they had to go to this spot to see okay, it's over there. Mm -hmm. Design is such a fucking mess, though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you. The dog does have a mustache. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dude. <you. laughs> JRPGs and their like enemy designs can get a bit too, uh, a bit too intricate. Imagine wanting to cosplay this. I mean, the thing is, I could start breaking it down, oh. but I don't want to. <laughs> Dice, do you, hate, do you hate me, Dice? I rolled 7, 20, and 36 on the cards. Bruh. And I can't roll on the Rip cosplayers. Rip cosplayers. Want to cosplay any design from Final Fantasy XIV? That's not just like the basic, the most basic of basic. You're fucked. Imagine cosplaying. Yeah, couldn't be me. Like, when I was doing my artwork, I think I spent just most of the time just trying to understand what the heck was going on on some pieces. Mm, yeah. Because it, like making it wasn't really that difficult, but just like, oh, there's a line going there. 
Ah, but I know, does I know, I know the perfect cosplay for Fire Patsy. Ultros. Ultros <laughs> boogie. Oh wait, is that the slime ball? Probably. No, it's the octopus. Yeah. Or imagine just like walking around as like Gaius and having one of those such caffeination cups. <laughs> Gaius in the um, in the like ap apron. Starbucks yes. apron. Yes, the Starbucks apron. We should do that for next Nacon, guys. <laughs> I want that fucking apron so badly. Honestly. Okay, I shall mute myself and read this cutscene. Do that. Thank you for playing. Thank you for helping out. Ah. Enjoy. Ah. May, are you alright? Thanks for clearing the way, May. That being, I presume, is the 12? Uh, that thing, yeah. You have done well, children of man. As promised, we shall reveal the truth in its entirety. Our desire is simply thus, to give ourselves unto the star as a blessing. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. Sacrificing themselves. In the twelve millennia we have existed, we have come to harbor tremendous power through prayers. Yeah, it is twelve millennia since, like, the Sundering. I mean, we already knew that, but I can't remember, where is that mentioned? That, like, approximately 12,000 years have passed since the Sundering. Like, I, I, I cannot for the life of me remember. Nichiron, thank you for letting me join. Enjoy story and baby monkey. Yay! Thank you so much for joining, Kren, and thank you for hanging out. It was lovely seeing you. Bye-bye! Jane. See you next time! Yee! Through battle, our essence shall unravel and return to the star, where it might give rise to new life. Such is our final gift to you. You mean you'll disappear? Yes. The fragments of our former souls, which serve as the core of our existence, shall rejoin the live stream. <gasps> and then they can be reborn! Wow. You know what's funny? People keep using the word eons as a measurement of time passing, but I don't know if they know how long that actually is. I don't know, isn't... Does eon not just mean, like, an immeasurable amount of time? Or is eon, like, an actual, like, quantifiable amount of time? Eon, amount of time. Yeah, about a billion years, I... Like, just an age, TM. I guess. Yet, though we may fade from sight, our individuality lost, our stabilizing influence shall endure. The only thing to change is where your prayers find their way. Henceforth, it shall be this, the instrument of blessing that receives of mortal hopes, hopes that shall be given back to the star. But your presence brings comfort to mankind. Everyone would wish for you to remain. Must you truly fade away? Dear, I cannot get over how messy that design is. Like, please, God, what is that? Square Enix, explain yourselves. <laughs> when mankind overcame the final days, it so moved us that even we who are but constructs knew the greatest joy. You have shown your unfaltering love for the world. In return, we would show our undying love for you. Mm. Worry not. Myths are wont to be woven and passed down. So long as men hold a twelve in fondness, we shall live on in your faith in us. When, when you say such things... <laughs> The moment of parting has come. By our blessing, may you march towards a brighter future. Farewell, beloved children. The RPGs always end up with kill God. It's just a staple. The fact that we do it repeatedly as well. <gasps>
when you are ready, brothers and sisters. God, their individual designs are... Mm, chef's kiss, though. Ugh. Beach episode, school dance, killing god. Yeah, 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 you know, the usual. May the font of your ingenuity ever flow. Yours is the strength to destroy all obstacles. <sighs> Abide in virtue and hold fast to the truth. <sighs> there is meaning in your deeds. Celebrate life and embrace death. May you flourish and reap a bountiful harvest. Love the fact that they're all delivering final one-liners before returning to the live stream. In your limited time, have boundless compassion. Carry yourself with honor and forge on towards victory. Harbor love in your heart for yourself, for others, and for the world. From past to future, the river of knowledge flows. Be part of its nourishing waters. May a wonderful new world greet you beyond destiny's horizon. <laughs> new world. <laughs> Don't dream. Be calm as the ocean, and you shall weather any storm. Lim Lane's design, though, is Mwah! chef's kiss. It's just ocean lift. Man, what about your monkey? As the wind blows unfettered, may you be free to follow your heart. Agonize so, Ashon. Oh, remain with them if that be your desire. Oh shit! That's fine. But this is what we've dreamed of to return to the star together. And before Derek becomes like a scion, <laughs> just casually have a god on it. <laughs> I just, I never imagined that I would grow so fond of them. That parting would be so hard. Monkey. <laughs> Long as we have abided in patience to rejoin the life stream. Or the drop in the river of time that is man's fleeting life. Why not share your fate with them? That's true. It's just an inconsequential amount of time in the grand scheme of things. Follow your heart, as you ever have. He is the wanderer. And when the time comes, we shall meet again. Oh, What the hell? This is kind of nice. Man, what the fuck? What the hell? I'm just happy that the monkey and the dude get to be reunited again. Monkey. You came back. But why? Mmm. Monkey. <laughs> <gasps> and he makes a magnificent return. I've decided to continue journeying a while longer. Monkey. Eee! I'm so happy for the monkey. That's one way to tug at your heartstrings. Cute animal. E. This place is very pretty, though. Very pretty area. This entire alliance raid was fun. The music was pretty banging, too. happy again. But I'm still here. I can scarce believe it myself. He's back. He's really back. 
<laughs> Cannot have been easy for Derek to break with his decision. I should like to hear what went through his mind. Words can't well express my surprise when I open my eyes to see Derek standing here. Standing there. I'm naturally curious as to what happened, but above all, I rejoice for a dear friend return. There's more? Derek is the very picture of peace. <sighs> what to say in such a moment? Best to speak from the heart, I suppose. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Silly little goober. And we're glad to have you back. Glad hardly suffices to describe it. We're over the moon that you're still here, Derek. Or should we call you Oshan? <laughs> I no longer have Oshan's power. Derek will do. Oh shit! Oh, okay. I was remade from the portion of my essence that wasn't returned to the star, and will live out my days as a man. Hog! May I ask what happened? No sooner had the Twelve vanished than you reappeared before us. They did their little one-liners, and then he had a little moment, and then got reassured by family that he can stay behind if he wants to, and then poof! At the very last, I couldn't bear it. Couldn't bear to say farewell. Your earnest friendship had weighed down my steps. Mm. And the little fellow's fervent call halted them. <laughs> oh, the baby monkey! I was overwhelmed by the keenest longing to remain among you and see more of the world I love. Upon seeing me torn, my brethren bade me follow my heart. I needed no further urging. We created the instrument of blessing in the faith that, one day, the star would no longer need our guiding hand. Thanks to you, that day has finally come. No problem. It's what I do. Ah, but I ramble. How uncharacteristic. Let us head back to the Omphalos, shall we? You boo. You know what would be nice? If Derek were to go and visit the Watcher on the moon and they could have tea together and just talk about shit. That would be kind of fun. Well, we must return to Charlian. The Forum will be uh, expecting a report. <laughs> Yet, if the entire truth were to be revealed to the public, it would shake the very foundation of the worship of the Twelve. Aye, in penning our report, we would do well to consult the Forum on what details are safe to disclose. Much pertaining to the field of mythology will need to be obfuscated, I fear. Obfuscate. Obfus ob obfuscated? Ob hmm. Worry not on my account. Inspired by our findings, I have a mind to examine the Twelve in the context of reception theory. The people's perception of deities are wont to be informed by their culture. By comparing the differences across eras and regions, I believe we may he uncover heretofore unseen aspects of the Twelve. Reception theory, you say? Most intriguing. I should like to see the fruits of your research when I visit Charlian. Me. Who? <laughs> Smug Krile! What the fuck? Look at that! Look at Smug Krile! <laughs> when you do, have care not to reveal who you used to be. Our scholars would be all over you like starved beasts. <laughs> I see. Perhaps I shall wait a while before I come calling. Before I came to you, I simply roamed the world. I had no objective, nothing I wished to find. With this second chance I have, I mean to undertake my travels with a renewed perspective. But ere I set out, 
Louis. That sassy smug look is so silly. The first time it happens is always a fun scene. Yay! I love her smugness. Smug Lollafell expression, so fun. Oh. I would move my brethren's hopes elsewhere to place in men's midst. Huh? Oh, what a wonderful idea. If you don't mind, we should like to accompany you. By all means, we make for the Sanctum of the Twelve in the East Shroud. Of course, the church. Aw, oh, that's nice. So pretty! Look at that! Wallpaper material right there. Oh my gosh. The environment design in Fixiv is... Mwah. Chef's kiss. <sighs> Hawthorne Hut. mount my trusty chonk, chonky, chokeable, the chonkable, if you will. For anyone who doesn't remember, it's when Kryl roasted Alphanod in his school years. Yeah. Dear god, there's so many people. <laughs> this is when you press X. <laughs> it's cute that there's just a fucking crowd of people standing around at the quest location. <laughs> Gives a sense of togetherness that like, man, there are people doing this at the same time as you. <laughs> ah, no matter how many times I visit the Sanctum, its majesty never fails to move me. It is very pretty. And the rich history! Originally built during the dawn of the Fifth Astral Era, it was reclaimed by the wood before being restored in the wake of the Calamity. Truly, it stands as a testament to the influence that magical civilizations and city-states have had upon Eorzean culture. Nerd. The Sanctum harbors the hopes of men, and now those of my brethren shall join them. If you are not averse, I would like to speak a little of my brethren. That is, those individuals whose essence lent them form. <gasps> yes, please! I want to know! Oh my god! As it pertains to another age, some concepts may be foreign to you, but would you be interested nonetheless? Yes, 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 yes! Excellent. Please, Derek, talk lore to me, baby. <laughs> Lore, the sexiest concept ever. Let's go! <gasps> nice. And then they just perfectly go right in. Beragot was a man with a gift for creating inanimate objects, such as buildings and furnishings. With his abilities, he served as a supervisory role at the Bureau of the Architect. I am the Archist of the Ancients! Oh my god! Where he was nothing short of a pillar. His chief was carefree to a fault, you see. <laughs> <It's Lodeus. laughs> and he took And he took it upon himself to ensure the work was done. I love it. I love it here. Ralgar was a brawny man whom Banats encountered on her travels. They quickly struck up a friendship, and he joined her on a quest to destroy an enormous meteor who was hurtling towards the star. Tis fair to say this event gave rise to the legend surrounding the destroyer. Oh. Azema was a woman who served as a judici judicial officer in the Bureau of the Administrator, an experience which served her well as the warden. Oh, yeah. I love <laughs> Warrior of Lights is just like I get to hear about the past. I get to hear about lore. Excites, excited Lala fell. 
She was an ardent proponent of the Siege of Azam and dreamed of training under Vinat and her successor. Aww. <laughs> this just makes me so happy! Althal was a close personal friend of mine. A merchant by trade, he was outwardly gregarious, but also possessed a reserved side and knew quiet joy in his passion for ore. When men began treating him as a dual-aspected god, it reminded me of the person he used to be, and I couldn't help but be struck with the pang of nostalgia. <laughs> Nofika was a landscape architect of great repute who knew la who grew lands gathered from the star. No, I can't read. I can't read. Nofika was a landscape architect of great repute who grew plants gathered from the star over. Despite being skilled in magic, she preferred to nurture plants as nature intended, and her garden ever bloomed with beautiful flowers. All who visited were said to leave with their souls sound. <laughs> Althik was a researcher who observed newly made creations in Elpis. Oh! Such as the Opal Opal! Although it was at his sister's urging that he first joined our faction, he soon became a stalwart believer in the cause and always took the initiative in discussion. So the twelve are based off of like the closest of the people that were in the Nat circle after we'd been there. I love that. That's so nice. See, my crack theory about the Twelve being like the remaining people in the convocation wasn't so far off after all! <laughs> Poloni was a formidable warrior tasked with hunting creations that were deemed detrimental to the star. It's also so nice that we get these little tidbits because like, we've never, as far as I'm aware at least, it feels like we haven't really gotten to know much about the ancients outside of what they did in Elpis and Amarot, and being reminded of the fact that there was a world much larger, the entirety of Atheris, that were still kind of governed by the ancients and their convocation. Atheris always felt kind of small to me, you know? Because Amarot was really all that we'd ever seen of it, and then Elpis, of course. Well, this is nice. <laughs> for her prowess, she had been regarded as a leading candidate for the seat of Pashtarot, preserver of disciple of discipline and order. Ah. Menfina was the youngest among us, a student affiliated with the words of Lahabraya at the Academia Anider. <gasps> oh my gosh. Even within that prestigious institution, she was considered a prodigy, and hers were the hands that created the magic to isolate and seal Zodiac. <gasps> Oh my god! So much lore! Oh my god! Thaliak was the headmaster of the Academia Nider, a man of learning and leadership both. He presided over the institution's myriad faculties. No known phenomenon existed in which he wasn't first. Words do not do justice to express the remarkable scholar that he was. I wonder... Did the Asians know about the true identities of the Twelve? They must have, right? Like Emmett Selk specifically told us to find out about the Twelve and their origins. He, like, ain't no way that he didn't know, right? Would be kind of really fucking funny though if he hadn't, if he'd somehow missed the memo, but I doubt it. <sighs> Nemea was an observer in Elpis, like her older brother Althic. She possessed a caring and inquisitive nature, and was liked and trusted by her peers. I wonder if we can meet them in Elpis. Probably not, but you know. Would be kind of funny if there was like some quest-giving NPC just vibing in Elpis, being that that turned out to be like Nemea and Althic before. <laughs> Lin Lane was a researcher at Metabus at Metabaseos Thalassi, a facility for the observation and evaluation of sea life. Oh no, the sharks! Oh god, not the sharks! So passionate was she about her work, she once threw a knife at someone who inadvertently came too close to her observation subject. Oh my. And then? Oshon was a traveler whom Vanat encountered in the wilderness. 
They shared a campfire and discussed at length what it meant to be free. <laughs> oh. Leaving my hopes at the as the wanderer in this place, I shall set forth anew, as simply a man named Derek. And last but not least, the Watcher. He was the chief archivist at Anamnesis and Eider, and respected Banat deeply as an individual, even as he cared for her as a dear friend. Which is why I guess he's still archiving the history of Atheris to this day on the moon. Indeed, among our number, none was more devoted to Vanat, and that devotion made him best suited to his duty and the solitude that accompanies it. I just realized that it's Flo playing in the background as well. Fuck, man! Fuck! That is all. It is a lot to remember but I should be glad if they remain with you in some way. <laughs> We're grateful that you should share with us these new aspects of Hydaelyn as well. Thank you. Well, tis past time we headed back to Charlian. It wouldn't do to keep Ojika waiting. I assume you will be traveling via Limsa Lominsa, in which case allow us to see you all from there. Till now I have wandered alone, but as I recently learned, a journey is better shared. I said that. We said that. We taught him that. <laughs> Man, this was honestly such a nice Alliance Raid series. I love the story of it. Anything that pertains to the ancient and the lore associated with them just, like, makes me feel some kind of way. Imagine being a sprout and just running around and doing questing and then you see a bunch of level 90 people just standing around huddling in a pile. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Let's see. Hawker's Alley. Fruit punch. Oh god, there's people here too. Derek. My beloved. Our friends are presently booking their passage. I mean, can't they just teleport back, though? Aren't they attuned to the etherites? Why? Hmm. Maybe it's more expensive. Maybe traveling by boat is cheaper. That would make sense, I guess. They're poor-ass scholars, after all. Don't have all of the money in the, world, in the world. That's where you were. There's room aboard the next ship, so we'll be setting sail shortly. Oh, Derek. No sooner do we arrive in a crowded place than you up and disappear. He's the Wanderer! Ah, tis a force of habit in order to avoid people. <laughs> Fucking rude. But I needn't do so anymore, do I? On the contrary, I should embrace the chance to connect with other souls. <laughs> As your comrades, we completely agree. And remember, you're always welcome at the Baldessian Annex, so be sure to pay us a visit. You may depend on it. It does cost money to use the teleport. It's just something that becomes forgotten once you're you gather enough money. I either either I read this in a fan fiction and I'm just fucking uh, completely out there, or it was actually mentioned in the game. But like, don't the sign like the scions pay for like the teleportation fees and stuff, and then they have to like sign a bunch of annoying ass paperwork and. Uh, give it to Tataru so that she can like pay pay out the fees and stuff like that to them. So it's a whole thing. So I guess I can understand not wanting to deal with all of that and just taking the boat even though it takes time, I guess. Ah. Thank you, Derek, for giving us your trust. If it was indeed a fanfiction that I read it in, I don't know. <laughs> and thank you as well, me. Had you not been with us, we would have struggled to grant the Twelve their wish. It was in the MSQ, I think Kryon handles the travel expense. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, 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 yeah. 
It would explain where the money the twins donated went to, ha! Huh? <laughs> Tatar never pays us back for anything, though. Hmm. <laughs> well, we'd best find our vessel. While the reports remains to be compiled, I believe we can officially declare our investigation complete. Till next we meet, my friends. <laughs> you will. I love them. <laughs> I doubt that Derek would end up joining the Scions. He'd probably want to wander around for a good while, but it would be fun if we could, like, run into him occasionally. Similar to, like, Alpha and Omega during events and stuff like that, just seeing them vibing and looking at stuff. Would be kind of funny if you could do that with Derek, too. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they have other plans for him. You still have time, mate? Hmm? Ere I embark on my journey, there is a place nearby that I would like to visit. Might I ask you to accompany me? It would make sense for him to show up in Dawn Trail. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Thank you. Come, we shall head outside the city via the Tempest Gate. Come. And he's gonna wander around exploring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. whips in from the sea like a storm, but I've always found the sensation quite invigorating. Lest you wonder, I intend to strike west and thence make my way through upper and outer Lanosia. And in order to mark my new beginning as a man, en route I wish to see Oshan's embrace with <gasps> You need only accompany me across the bridge. <laughs> he wants to see the landmarks dedicated to him. <laughs> Narcissistic piece of- <laughs> From there I shall continue on my own. That's cute, though. I like that. Hmm. Everyone else is also making the pilgrimage. Such a great wave that was ripped from the god's grip from... <laughs> Such a great wave that was that ripped the god's grip from the mainland. In the wake of the Calamity, my brethren and I were all occupied with our respective duties. This is my very first time seeing the bridge. <laughs> Shall we, then? Follow Derek's lead and try not to fall behind. It's already quite impressive to behold. Look! So it's temporarily constructed with wood. Or not so temporarily, it's been like this for 10 years, so... <sighs> Such an invigorating breeze. Mm. Oh, Etheris. I can't even begin to imagine. Your beauty truly knows no bounds. How it must feel. Forgive me, I was lost in thought. Having served the star for millennia. Oh god, there's so many people over there. <laughs> Not even having had the time or the privilege to watch it. Look forward to the bridge's completion. E. Tis a fine bridge, boasting splendid views and brimming with life. The very image of a man's determination to overcome adversity. I am honored that it should be named Oshan. <laughs> well, this is as far as I asked you to come. But if you're willing, might we converse a little more? It occurs to me I hadn't asked you about your opinion of the Twelve. How you personally perceive us, for instance, or what you felt when you faced us. Your words from the heart I would take with me as a memento. Ah, 
was just a cute little cutscene. Sitting on a bench talking. I really wish these things were voiced, man. Is that so? The others will be glad to hear that. Thank you for humoring me, May. And apologies for keeping you so long. It's okay. We went on a little date. <laughs> god, if it fixed it really would suit being a fucking dating sim, I swear to god. I'm ready to set forth now. To witness a world filled with our blessing. So oh, pretty. <gasps> Baby Opopo! Don't mind me just taking screenshots. <laughs> To begin with, I shall tour Lanoshea and visit those locales which are named after the Twelve. After which, I shall go wherever the wind blows. Together with this fellow, of course. Until such time as he tires of my company. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> This time, I shall embrace the joy of meeting and accept the sorrow of parting. And when the time comes for me to return to the star, I shall share my experiences with my brethren. Hmm. Needless to say, your words will feature prominently in my recounting. Oh boy. This is so cute! What the fuck? Man! <laughs> You will continue your own journeys, will you not? Aye. Then I shall look for you out there. Fare you well, my friend, and may the Twelve bless you and keep you. <laughs> bye bye, Derek. See you around, maybe? Monkey. <laughs> so cute. What the hell? I did not expect myself to end up caring for this dude that much. I was just like, oh, it's just some boring dude, but like, well, he grew on me. Myths of the realm. Wow. Yo. We did it. One piece of patch content clear, baby! <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. <laughs> na, 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 na. Paintings of certain deities among the twelve will become available for purchase. Where? Where? Hey yo, hello? Wait, where? Where? Bitch? Hello? Don't just fucking blue ball me like that. Tell me where I can find it! Bitch! Oh my god. Yo ho! Where can I buy it? Where? Oh well. But yeah. That was Myths of the Realm. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. It was actually so fun. I was planning on doing more MSQ content, but the Alliance Raid story stuff ended up taking up a lot more time than I'd anticipated, but it was good. It was nice. It was very cute. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Ah. And I'll need to catch up on the fucking MSQ, man. I'm a bit behind. I mean, there's not necessarily any rush since uh, Dawn Trail comes out next year, so like... <laughs> Portrait maybe at either Ishgard Painter or Housing District? 
Ishgard Painter. Ishgard Painter. Huh? Who the fuck? There's an Ishgard Painter. Dude, that sells a Scion Fortress. I don't- I didn't- eh? Wait, where? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on! The Pixiv Ishgard... Yeah. Okay, wait. Actually, hmm. Where? It's not this one. No, that's just random stuff. Where? Eh? Hmm. In the pillars? Ah. Eh. I guess in the market area. This one? No. That's just random stuff. Jeweler. Armor. Mender. Apothecary. Weaponsmith. Hmm. Carvery. Should be next to the church upstairs. Ah! I had no idea where you bought the Scion portraits, actually. Thank you for telling me! Wow! <laughs> Whenever I see them, I'm like, oh, they're so pretty! I don't know where to get them, though. <laughs> Let's see. Da -da -da. And here I was, planning on ending the stream and wrapping everything up all nicely. But then, you can buy portraits here. What? <laughs> e Next to the church? I already know which Scion portrait you're gonna try to- What do you mean? Eh <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, wait, no. The cathedral was there. That's the vault. The vault is not the cathedral. Hold on. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I don't think I've ever been inside here. Oh my god. Where the fuck do you end up if you go here? Might be a quest to unlock- No! Fuck! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Uh, the fixive scion portrait vendor. Anyone who watches your playthroughs knows how much you love Graha and the twins. <laughs> I do love them lots and lots. They're my babies. Nine seven ten seven. So it should be like right there. Okay. He's not there, though. Um... I'll have to look at that later, at some point. Hmm... Thank you for telling me, though. Then I know. Wow. But yes, okay, now I shall actually end the stream. It is rather late and homegirls got shit to do, unfortunately. But thank you so much everyone for coming to the stream as per usual. You guys know how much I appreciate it. And I hope you guys had a swell time here as well. Uh, next time I'll have to do more MSQ stuffs. E. And catch up with 6.5 and stuffs. 
And then, don't shoot me, baby! I still need to finish the Shadowbringers uh, cla job uh, job quests as well. Not class quests, job quests. Still haven't done that actually. Really want to. Really need to. So that'll be fun. But yeah, it will. I will have to see you guys next time. Next stream will be a Breath of the Wild stream, Legend of Zelda on Friday, uh, approximately same time as today. Do the job quests. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I need to do that. <laughs> Evil. But yeah, I'll leave you guys to it. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye. Bye 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 who is online? Who to raid? Mm -hmm. Can raid Sakai? Why? Playing Baldur's Gate 3 like a fucking nerd. Yes, everyone, get in the raid if you want to. You don't have to. Unless, go. Get in the raid, bitch! Get in the car! We're going raiding. Okay. <laughs> but yes. I'll see y'all next time on Friday. But in the meantime, Johnny! <laughs>